Hi, chat. Uh, hold on. This song is a banger. Let's wait a little bit until more people join in, then we're gonna continue the Trailblaze quest. And in the meantime, I'm gonna continue playing this. Um, what is this game called? Monopoly? <laughs> we're gonna continue here a little bit. This game is such a mind-numbing activity. Hello, Irina. Welcome. Welcome, everyone. Ah, just a little bit more. It's one million. Hmm, what is this? Oh, it's a phone wallpaper. Okay. Hello, TK. Okay, I guess we're just gonna start. Tarot Monopoly, that's right. I really like the music. Like, you just vibing to it while playing. His lost belongings. Hmm. Must have been the stone. Have you guys finished the quest? Hmm. I'm thinking of doing like... Making it like a three-part playthrough, I think? Maybe we'll play for like two, three hours today. Talk a little bit about what's happening. And if in those three hours is still not finished, then I'm gonna finish it tomorrow, I think. <laughs> DK, you still haven't even started. And you don't mind getting spoiled. that thing anyhow head of the oak family in Penaconi who seems to find you intriguing invites you for a private chat that's exactly what you need to meet him to you visit the do light pavilion with dr ratio having no inkling of the perils that lie ahead of you what? Talk to Hendrik the guard and embark on on YouTube's adventure at the Dulight Pavilion. Hey you two! That's a place of business. No entry. I was requested by Mr. Sunday to bring him the suspect. My name is Ratio. He should have mentioned it to you. <laughs> Oh, I remember Rachel's you. Ratio's way of Veracott speaking is very... 
Your punch virtual particle clock is entertaining. Impressive. Excuse me? Uh, the one on your head. Of course, it's nothing compared to my full pocket dimensional annihilating power armor of the Mobile Knights. Right, and as I mentioned, that fantasy raiment of yours doesn't exist. That's because you can't see it. Like I say, only family can see the glory of the Mobile Knights. Ugh, enough. Get going. Don't keep Mr. Sunday waiting. <sighs> what is it talking it about? It seems like the idiocy index here is no better than it is out there. Ugh, enough. Okay. Get <laughs> A dead end? The door is shut tight. Looks like we're on our own. I mean, there isn't a door. How did you get in before? For security reasons, the family built the administrative site deep in the dreamscape, with the mechanisms hidden in these Nightingale statues. The direction of the statues can be controlled. Oh, On the no. previous Puzzles? occasion, an attendant named Kona had gone to the side room to verify something before setting the statues in the correct positions. Well, maybe we should do the same. Let's go and take a look. <laughs> of course, we can also use brute force. Obtain the clue regarding the Nightingale statue. Okay. No reward with no risk? I'll take it. Oh, here comes the boring part of this quest <laughs> oh the bigger the risk I weep for the departed. It too shall fall. Oh, relax. Attribution Watch your head. Find you. Time to say bye. I'm still sad that we're not getting Akron uh? companion quest. Destined for oblivion. But I guess following uh, their point of view in the story counts as a companion uh -huh. quest. Relax. I weep for the departed. It too shall fall. Uh, stand still. Fortune Ooh. follows luck, just like it always oh. does. Useless. What am I looking for, anyway? Feeling lucky. Beneath the waters lies an endless abyss! For oblivion. I weep for the departed. It too shall fall. T 
time to say bye. Boom. Pulling cool. for adventuring. His banner is not here yet. I thought we discussed this yesterday. <laughs> Hello, Mira. Welcome. Ill tidings manifest. On the still waters of oblivion. Ah, relax. No reward with no risk. I'll take it. What the? <laughs> what is that enemy? Oh my god. That enemy is doing yoga. Feeling lucky. Okay. Time to say bye. Boom. Where am I looking for again? Okay, oh, here. But how do I get there? Looks like a frog. <laughs> Looks like a turtle to me. Turtle? Six nightingales facing in different directions. An obvious hint. Uh, but are these nightingales? They are. What's wrong? How can nightingales be so huge? <laughs> they look more like torment eagles to me. There are no eagles in the five families, only nightingales. Why am I wasting time with you on this? Which way is it again? Turn clockwise. seem right which way I'm a, I'm a look what I'm looking at from where that's correct though this they're facing the same way, that one on the left. What? Am I dumb? Huh? Face the wall without the door? Oh, it's this way. Oh, oh you're right. One side has doors. <laughs> ah, I'm look I should look at it from this way. Got it. So this one counterclockwise. Oh, okay. <sighs> Just as I thought. 
Here's the correct answer. A truly miraculous discovery. <laughs> Perhaps I should offer you the chance to join the Genius Society. <laughs> Richard's so annoying. Really? I love him. <laughs> well, I thought you'd given up on that already. I was being sarcastic. Can't you tell? I love it. Rachel is very annoying. <laughs> Not more oh, puzzle. Massive. <laughs> so much for Mr. Sunday's reserved, virtuous image. Do you need me to remind you? We're in a dreamscape. No matter how grand the mansion looks, it'll not affect Penicone. Stop wasting your time nitpicking the family here. Yeah, you're right. The only way to destroy the family is death. <laughs> Sunday must have thought the same. Interesting. Let's head down. <laughs> the only way to destroy the family is death? Okay. Yeah, I was I was just wondering how how is adventure oh my god that that turtle is doing yoga again. <laughs> I was wondering why Stream 4. Oh my god, yeah, we could we could do that. I forgot. How is adventure in like tolerating ratio so much? Because he has a crush on Ratio and that's how he's just tolerating all the crap that Ratio is giving him. Okay. Good for him, I guess. What's here? What's over there? No, let's not get sidetracked. Hold on. What's wrong? Are we heading the wrong way? Shame? No, <laughs> but this door is locked. My friend? Did you really make an appointment with him? It's a trial. You got to prove your worth to Sunday before you can speak with him. If I'm not wrong, we need to find a way to open this door in the hall or this place will be our prison. Oh, an escape room. <laughs> My favorite. Get serious. <laughs> I've no time for games. Let's head back. The hint is probably in that prominent sandpit. <laughs> wow. That's an enormous sandpit. I'd love to build a tall building for myself. Once I have enough savings. Oh. Look, there's a noticeable gap in the model. There wasn't a gap before. That man must have done it intentionally. Well, with your brilliant mind, you shouldn't have any trouble recalling what was here last time. Right, Doctor? Of course. Let's look around. When I see it, I will know it. <laughs> Fine. Fine. Why do I feel that we're pursuing a degree in burglary now? <laughs> well, um, adventure is bearable next to ratio. That's crazy. Stream four, a gleam of old blades. No. This is it. I don't like doing puzzles or doing cast. 
What is it ratio? What are we looking for? Hmm. To get there from there. Stream four. The gleam of old blades. Uh. Oh my god. <laughs> what does he do? Avenger. Bust? Or maybe I'll take it off! <laughs> oh, shield. I see. Spend freely. On the still waters of oblivion. Huh? Stand still. All in. I weep for the departed. It too shall fall. Well, she's insane. Another blood debt repaid. I don't have to fight them. Wow. Surprise me. Uh, excuse my phone, guys. That's my phone notification. Robin. Oh, I'll grab it while we're here. Where's the other one? Or is that the only one? Hmm. Perhaps there's more than one right answer. Where? Where am I going exactly? I need to get to the ceiling. To get to the ceiling, I need to go where? you will find wait that is just going back to that area I'm doing it wrong church this way maybe this way Forget to let your friends in on the action. Uh, wait. We need to get. Where is it? It's here. I can get from here. That is. Um... Okay, this is the ceiling, right? This is the ceiling. Okay. Okay. Oh, I hate it. I have to be Hanu for this. Do I have? 
have to be handled for this? No, maybe not. No. I have to be Hanu? Oh my god. <laughs> fine, fine. We'll play the little puzzle Sunday put for us. And... Run, Hanu, run, run! the blood out of a stone. What is what is what is this? Why am I doing this? There's nothing there. Or there is something there. Oh, my, just to get it. Oh, no, 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 Hanu, run, run, run for your life. Run. Oh, my God. No. Okay, fine. Fine. That's fine, we just go back. It's not... Okay, there's nothing there. Mm. Was I from here? No. This is this, this way. useless stuff from the chest okay we got it oh. and the nameplate reads Gulliver's Arch <laughs> well, I'm amazed you can remember something this tiny you know this reminds me of a tunnel I once saw that could shrink people who passed through it if I were you I would shut my mouth it's wise to remain silent when you should Damn, he's very rude to a veteran. But also, thank you for telling him to shut up. Oh, this reminds me of one of those building toys. You know, with the blocks. <laughs> I've never played with them before. I wonder if it's more interesting than stacking chips. <laughs> Not the shame king again. Oh, look, the gap is closed. And it fits perfectly. <laughs> so, what's next? What? Uh, oh, good heavens. D did I drink? I am I still in a dream? Indeed. That is so weird. Oh, doctor, you're huge. <laughs> it's me! Down here! 
in the, the sand pit. Not a venture in saying ratio is oh, huge. I think we could make this work for us. Just find a way to slip me into Sunday's collar, and I'll infiltrate the family just like that. <sighs> oh, wow. Fine. I was just kidding. Let's find a way to open the door. Mihoyo is serving both sides. Yes, they are Karan and Black Swan today with a venture in a ratio. I see you, Mihoyo, I see you. Where's the end of this puzzle? What in the world? Oh, wait. The Sims? <laughs> Stream four. The gleam of old things. Where is it? Oh, having Akron is very convenient. What is this guy doing over here? What? Stranger things have happened. Welcome to the Golden Hour base model. I am an Oak soldier. I will be here to guide you through the tour of the base model. Happy to be of service. Tell me where to guide a tour. Hmm. And tell me about the tour. Hello. <laughs> Welcome to the Golden Hour base model. <laughs> what? I am an Oak soldier. I will be here to guide you through the tour. Of the base mo model, happy <laughs> to be of service. Gen oh God! Guide, please wait patient. Uh huh. Found the nearest check-in spot. Please look behind me. A capsule, a sheen model. Model. What the hell? What's up with that? Now the family's toys are trying to frame me? I didn't do a thing to it, Doc. You've got to be my witness. <sighs> wow, I okay. Saw nothing. <laughs> this is the heartwarming story oh, experience. Machine. They're talking about. There's no mechanism on the floor. Could there be one at the top? Doctor, do me a favor. Wow. So, I was right. These models have interiors that look exactly like the real buildings. The only difference is that no one lives in them. Funny that Sunday puts a miniature that makes him seem like a giant by comparison right where he can see it first thing in the morning. <laughs> Insecure much? <laughs> Oh, one of the fragments flew upstairs. I'll need to use the pinball machine to flick myself up there. But it's tough. <laughs> I 
Oh, great. There's another pinball machine base here. And it's empty, too. Doc! I'll need your brain power <laughs> I cannot power with again. the huge ratio in the background. There's no need to yell. <laughs> I can hear you. The pinball machine must oh be God. hidden somewhere in the hall. Like the arch. Wait here, and I'll be back in a minute. Well, he must have think he must have thought that adventure is really stupid the way he speaks to him. Why he speaks to him like that? <sighs> Finally, a moment of peace. Oh no, it's ratio point of view. No more more puzzle. Four. Yeah, I'm no more, no more technique. Answer me. Zero points. Ill tidings manifest. Huh. Huh. Relax. What am I, what am I looking for? What is it? That's it. Pleasant moments of solitude oh. are always fleeting. Oh, you're back. Just place it here. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. That's so funny. Thanks, Doc. <sighs> I forgot to play the scene. What? How do I play this again? Activate. Oh, there's one more over there. Mm. Rotate. Yay! Are we done? Get it locked. Mm -hmm. Oh, Ratio, you should come in here and take a look. The view here is breathtaking. <laughs> Honestly, you could easily squash me with just a pinch. Why would you? If that is your wish, I will do so without a moment's hesitation. <sighs> Hold on. Piece of cake. Why, why would he be asking Ratio to destroy him? They have a very interesting interaction. <laughs> uh, adventuring with Ratio is bearable. He should like travel around with him more often instead of just talking to Trailblazer, you know? And the joyous tour of Toy City has come to an end. It makes me feel sad. Well, Panacone isn't all bad, right? I'll use this interesting experience as a talking point at the poker table. What talking point? That ratio is huge? That he could pinch you and squash you? <laughs> oh, venturing. Right. Are we done? It's a pity you made it out of the sand pit alive. Sunday is just beyond this door. 
From my limited understanding, he's not someone easily handled. Are you prepared? Yeah. Only I believe he's the one who should be prepared to face me. Tell me about your plan. I don't have a plan. I'll just play it by ear. There are only two kinds of bargaining chips. What did I say? I'm just three, you know, I'm just repeating what Aventurin said about ratio. Fear. Looks like sincerity isn't in your dictionary. Am I not sincere enough? <laughs> There's no need to emphasize it. We've got to make good use of death. That man's sister is dead. He won't be able to turn a blind eye, and that's fear. And I'll help him find the murderer. He can't do it due to his status and position, but I can. And that's benefit. On what basis do you believe he's incapable, necessitating the delegation to someone from a rival faction? The IPC. Simple. Because that murderer could very well be a traitor hiding inside the family. Uh -huh. Um, do you mean the Galaxy Ranger whom you accused previously? <laughs> that was just an excuse, good doctor. There's something wrong with that woman, and we need someone who can keep her in check. It's better to minimize the variables outside our control while we execute our plans. Moreover, I need to know her identity. If I'm lucky, <laughs> she could be an important pawn. And it's good to have more helpful friends when dealing with this matter. Oh, uh, you don't know. But honestly, the murder case is likely unrelated to her. I believe my standpoint. There's a rat in the family. Otherwise, why would Mr. Sunday arrange a private meeting with us? This isn't an interrogation, but a secret negotiation. We'll see. Using Robin's death as a bargaining chip, I'll win back my freedom and power. In the end, I'll ruin this beautiful dream and create the grandest death. If the chance of winning is just beyond this door, even if that chance is close to zero, well... <laughs> You can't win if you don't play, right? Ah, the charming audacity. To think that you, of Wait. all people, might emerge victorious, dear gambler. Three chips are enough. Wait. All or nothing. Huh? Wait. Wait. Wait, the last two lines, we heard that in a dreamscape when we first met Akron all the way back before the start of all these crazy things. But they're only saying this now? How is the memory before? Oh my god, are we in a time loop? How is the <sighs> memory not linear? <sighs> Hmm. <laughs> ho, 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 ho. Ho. Oh. Huh. A chest. It seems my puzzles are too effortless for you, IPC Ambassador. I appreciate your words. And I see you put a lot of effort into welcoming me, Mr. Sunday. However, this is no way to greet a guest. Well, this isn't an invitation, but a summoning. Before we speak, I need to test your character. I imagine this knowledgeable doctor friend of yours has been of great help, yes? Certainly. You ought to know this better than I do. He's already faithfully fulfilled his duties, hasn't he? Yes, the doctor has assured me of your noble character. He considers you, like himself, a virtuous person who can be trusted by the family. Oh, he sounds weird. I have come to know his you voice. very well as a person, Mr. Aventurine. You're diligent, generous, 
and willing to cooperate. The fact that you succeeded in overcoming many obstacles just to meet me gave me the reason to believe in your wisdom and courage. But there's one thing I must ask you. That is, you've used your wisdom at the wrong place to meet the wrong person and put yourself in a situation where you shouldn't be witnessing a tragedy that shouldn't have happened. Mm -hmm. oh, you don't look too well. Am I making you anxious? If not, then it means I'm on your side. If I wasn't mistaken, you'd just made a serious accusation against the family. No, you weren't mistaken. For depravity is creeping in around you. Well, there's no need for us to be evasive. Let's talk about your sister. Your sister's talent is unrivaled in the world of show business. As you know, her voice has been out of tune since she returned to Penacony. What's more disheartening, she can't sing anymore. Who could be responsible for this? Many suspect the culprit is among the outsiders, but I know... You hold a different opinion. Now your noble status has become a shackle, preventing you from apprehending the murderer and avenging your sister's death. You're feeling anxious because you're out on a limb. But don't worry. I'm on your side. I'm immensely honored he says by that your to concern everyone. for me, Mr. Aventurine. Since you're so selfless and generous, I believe you wouldn't ask for anything in return, would you? Well, naturally, you wouldn't incur any loss from this. I just want to reclaim what is mine. My liberty and the personal items under the family's custody, the bag of gift money, and... The stone? The box in which the cornerstone is stored. Exactly. That's right. Cornerstone. I've heard it's a treasured asset of the strategic investment department. A sacred stone that seals the preservation emanator, granting significant power. And every liquidation specialist holds one. For an object so precious, it probably comes at an even higher price than other forms of recompense. Well, I'm sure you're aware of the high level of risk I'll be undertaking to bring the truth to light. Mr. Aventurine, when you're out and about, do you always make adjustments to your appearance? Your tie should be on the center line. Your shirt must not protrude from your vest. Your trouser creases should be perfectly straight and always aligned with the tips of your shoes. Of course. But I don't, because it's not appropriate to do so in public. You should make sure everything is presentable and in order before leaving the house. Mm. I'm not the kind that takes risks. The cornerstone must be in the custody of the family. No room for negotiation? Please, don't let me turn you down twice. Sure. The gift money is good enough. I suppose you wouldn't mind that. After all, a merchant can't function without a bargaining chip. You compromised quicker than I thought. Unfortunately, it's a gambler that needs a bargaining chip, not a merchant. I can give you your gift money. But before that, I want you to tell me. What? The fact that you can decisively forsake the box you asked for? What exactly is stored in it? Oh, triple-faced soul, please sear his tongue and palms with a hot iron, so that he will not be able to fabricate lies and make false vows. Yo. <laughs> what have you done? Under the light of the harmony, all wickedness is revealed. Yo. I implore them to shed their light, and I'll ask you questions on their behalf. Next, you have 113 seconds to prove your innocence and gain my <gasps> trust. 
And if I refuse to answer? You can try. And we'll see if the Harmony rejects you. <laughs> Question. Do you own a cornerstone? Oh my god! Yes. Hypnosis. What a simple answer. You, too, understand that idle chatter leads only to poverty. Did you hand over the cornerstone to the family when you entered Panacone? Yes. Does the cornerstone you handed over to the family belong to you? Yes. Is your cornerstone in this room right now? Yes. Is your memory free from any kind of tampering or deletion, encompassing but not restricted to the techniques of the Garden of Recollection? Yes. Are you an Avgin from Sigonia? Yes. You even know about that? Do the Avgins have any ability to read, tamper with, or manipulate one's own or another's mind? No. Does it matter? Do you love your family more than yourself? What? Yes. All the Avgins were killed in a massacre. Am I right? No. Are you your clan's sole survivor? <laughs> Perhaps. Do you hate and wish to destroy this world with your own hands? <laughs> I don't know. Interesting. Now, the final question. Can you swear that at this very moment, the Aventurine Stone is safe and sound in this box? Looks like we can get an answer. Open it, Mr. Aventurine. It's your last chance to defend your honor. Crazy. Yo. That's insane. <sighs> Please. Are these what you're looking for? <laughs> Since you came as promised, learned doctor, does this mean that you are willing to take the side of the family in this farce? What makes you think you can convince me? I've heard you haven't enjoyed Mr. Aventurine's company. I also understand that you're an avid learner who sees the pursuit of knowledge above all. In that case, you ought to realize that a competent scholar knows their position and wouldn't forsake more vital matters for the sake of petty pride. If you agree to assist the family, I'll share our research findings on the Stellaron. You must be quite mm. aware that, besides the family, no other faction is willing Stella. to share such information. Hmm. Cut to the chase. What do you need from me? I need Mr. Aventurine's comprehensive plan. Haven't you confiscated his cornerstone? You can't expect a featherless bird to take flight. 
But I've also heard the ten elites in the Strategic Investment Department have united, progressing together in the interests of the IPC. You'll have to speak more clearly than that. <sighs> the cornerstone which Mr. Aventurine surrendered. Was it really his? <laughs> You question whether he would entrust you with someone else's cornerstone. The Ten Stone Hearts aren't as united as you think. Cornerstones are significantly more precious to them than their very own lives. But you know that he's a crazed gambler. The more vocal he is about it, the more cautious I must be. I never imagined someone would share his way of thinking. Honestly, you should see a shrink. Bring it. The box containing the cornerstone is unique, and only IPC senior staff and related members can access it. But I happen to be among them. Hmm. <laughs> I appreciate it. Unfortunately, your guess is correct. <laughs> Its color and glow are similar to that of Klepoth's body. Sunday sounds very really unhinged. This is the very ruse he intends to use to fool you. He won't reveal to you that the Ten Stone Hearts chisel their own will into the cornerstones, granting them an unparalleled radiance. And this golden statue is also known as Topaz, not Adventurine. And it belongs to Topaz. I see. So, do you wish to confront him? Uh, not at the moment. I'm more interested to know the location of his cornerstone. The safest place somewhere you'd never think of. Because he never intended to hide it. In fact, that cornerstone has been in your hands from the very beginning. That's why he just wants the money. I see. This bag. Mixing a cornerstone, more precious than life itself, with a bunch of worthless jewels, disguised as a gift of money waiting to be confiscated, is indeed in line with Mr. Aventurine's style. Then he makes up some trivial excuse, downplaying the matter, and requests the gift money. This is a gamble, one he's all too familiar with, betting on your single misstep, leading to a total loss. Learn it, Doctor. I am grateful for your help. The family will surely reward a righteous person like you. As for the villain... <laughs> I hope he retreats in humiliation. Damn, Avenger thought he was so smart. It was all thanks to your friend with a keen eye that I could add a blot of utter failure to your storied career. <sighs> Ratio, you wretch. <laughs> Finally shown your true colors, huh? Oh, and just to remind you, you currently only have 17 system hours left to live. Treasure your remaining time and savor the delectable aftertaste of defeat. 17 <laughs> hours? You might as well explain yourself a little more clearly. What I performed on you just now was the Harmony's consecration. You were to show allegiance beneath the illumination of their grace, yet you acted willfully. Uttering nothing oh, but falsehood, <laughs> transforming the consecration into a trial. I genuinely see no reason to absolve you from it. Oh, crazy! That's <laughs> is this what the harmony represents? 
But is it built upon constraint and coercion? <laughs> you misunderstand, Mr. Aventurine. Punishment is meant for the irreverent. But I have seen your resilient spirit, and thus I offer you the possibility of a new beginning. Throughout these 17 system hours, you will be unable to escape the dreamscape, or contact any of your companions. You only have two paths before you, and it all depends on whether you can complete my test within the time limit. Should you succeed, you will be able to coalesce into the harmony and be with your family. If you fail, you will suffer the wrath of the Eternal Centurion and fall into an abyss of doom. Oh, he is very <sighs> dangerous. Oh, sounds like I'm gonna end up the same either way. I indeed do need a servant to help me uncover the evil hidden in the family from an external perspective. I will purge the evil from the inside and bring the real culprits to justice within 17 system hours. When the time comes, compare your findings with mine. If both our findings align, or if you can provide me more insights, then they will truly be able to grant you mercy and honesty. Shameless hypocrites. You took everything from me and still demand the truth? That isn't fair. Your carnival reeks with the stench of cash. Nothing is achievable without it. This is meant to be an act of personal virtue, not requiring the family's support. Your bag is over there. Do as you please. I believe you can trade this bag of worthless jewels for everything you need. That's what gamblers excel at, isn't it? <laughs> Off you go, Mr. Aventurine. You are free. I will wait here for your good news. Yo... Sunday is dangerous. This meeting isn't an interrogation, or a negotiation. It's an outright execution. <laughs> Why would I do that, Mr. Aventurine? I'm just wondering what a passerby who stumbled upon a scene of a murder could have found out. That's all. By the way, before you go, I have a personal question. What is it now? You... Do you truly wish to bring about the destruction of this world? <gasps> Kakavisha! That is insane! Oh, are you injured? Oh my god! I got it back, Sunday sister. is dangerous! You went to look for We be new! That's it's dangerous. dangerous. It's just a wow. necklace. It's neither food nor water. But we can survive without it. But I can't live without you, little brother. Promise me not to look for those catechins again, okay? Sister, don't be afraid. The catechins are fools, but I'm smart. I played a game with them, and I won. One? <sighs> what happened exactly? Tell me. I made a bet with them. The two birds in the desert and me. Who will die first? I won. They suspected me of cheating, but I didn't. I won fair and square. <sighs> of course. Of course you'd win. You've always been a lucky child. Gyathra Triclops must be watching over you. That's no reason to push your luck by going up against those, those bloodthirsty, cruel catechins. Have you forgotten how mom and dad... Look, this is just a necklace. But Kakavasha, you are my only family. I'm sorry, sister. I thought you'd be happy. Because mom left you this necklace. 
There'll be no next time. It is important, but not as important as you, my dearest brother. I, I don't blame you, but you must remember what Mom said. Pain and poverty are the trials of Gyathra Triclops. She has also granted us a chance. And that's your good luck, Kakavasha. Your good luck is the most precious wealth we all Avgen have. You're a child blessed by Gyathra Triclops and can lead the clan to happiness. What is good luck even? So always remember to protect yourself and never resent the pain and poverty you're going through. All right? Listen to me and swear to Gyathra Triclops. Okay. I will swear to Gyathra Triclops to protect this wealth. But sister, if Gyathra Triclops was really watching over us, then why did she not protect Dad when he was swept away by the quicksand? After all, Dad went to the Catechins' land only to prepare for Gyathra Triclops' offerings. And where was Gyathra Triclops when Mom was shivering in our arms? Mom was still pleading for Gyathra Triclops' forgiveness under her breath until the moment she closed her eyes. Sister, everyone praises me for being smart, but I don't get it. If every rain pour was Gyathra Triclops' forgiveness and grace, then how bad were our sins? So much so that we were born in this world of death? Hmm. Oh, interesting. Um, excuse me. I can't seem to find any information on this artist in the Iris family archives. The photo you provided also doesn't show any matches. Hmm? Hmm. Oh, Just as I thought. Firefly. I'd like to ask. What kind of traces do people leave when they enter a dream? Are you referring to the records when you enter the dream pool? The equipment will monitor physiological indicators such as heart rate, blood oxygen levels, and body temperature in real time. This data will be included in statistics and handed over to the family for the screening of any data anomalies. Immediate action will be taken once any illegal behavior is detected. Hmm, is it possible to access this record? I apologize. The hotel does not have access. This information is managed by the Bloodhound family. We can only gain access if there's a problem. Looks like nothing but there is can a be problem. found here. Somebody dead. At least we know who to look for next. We can ask the Bloodhound family for information. Alright. Thank you for your assistance, Miss Allie. By the way, is Miss Robin doing fine? We are looking forward to her performance. Fine? What does that mean? Is there something wrong with Miss Robin? The preparations for the Charmony Festival have been proceeding smoothly, so I guess things are pretty good. I believe she will be able to put on a spectacular show for all of you. Hmm, I'm sure. Sure enough, no one knows about Miss Robin. Oh my god. I'm Yuriko's not surprised. Voice. But that Miss Firefly is truly mysterious. There's no information on her in the hotel system. Even if she's a stowaway, she should have a disguised identity after entering the planet. She's also in the running for the legacy. How is she going to sneak into the dreamscape unnoticed? Is there any other way to enter a dream? Besides the hotel room's dream pool? Stellar Hunters. The Memo Keepers have abilities that are difficult for normal people to comprehend. In the memory zone of Penacony, they thrive effortlessly. A fact proven to us by Black Swan. The hacker girl from the Stellaron Hunters used extraordinary means to unlock the Dreamscape Hotel's seal. According to the scene witnessed by her, it is likely that they are behind Miss Firefly's case. The 
Garden of Recollection and the Stellaron Hunters. Both are possible, but what about the IPC? Since they want Penacony all for themselves, they're bound to have a plan. Who are you guys? The Bravo team has arrived at their oh, designated God. position. Ready to execute armed evacuation operations. Is Topaz here? Fox, get moving! Uh, armed evacuation? Boss, aren't you drunk? <laughs> what do you know? It's more efficient this way. Just don't let the director find out. Act first, report later. Understood? Help! Help me! I spent all my year-end bonus on the snowball! Oh, God. I don't want my name on the department's major disciplinary notice. <laughs> hey, check it out. That place. Could it be the IPC workers from Bellabog? Absolutely, it must be them. To all guests, the IPC will be conducting special operations within the hotel. Please follow the staff in charge of evacuation to the designated safe zones or compulsory measures will be enforced. Oh! I was beating for you lot! You've been told not to drink during work hours. Topaz! Take him back to the hotel room. I'll organize a meeting later to properly go over how this incident report should be written. Oh, hi! Oh, she's here! Miss Topaz? I never thought I'd run into you on Panacone. <sighs> oh. Long time no see, Astro Hello. Crew. Adventurine has told me a lot about your happenings. Huh? Wow, I didn't expect <laughs> her to fine. be here. Do as they ask and try to avoid any conflicts with the family. Report to me before taking any action. <laughs> yes, all right. As you see, the IPC has Oh, Topaz has met with Himeko for the second time before Kafka got the chance the to. That's crazy. The former frontier prison has turned around and cuffed its shackles on the IPC staff now. Only a Venturine, who carries an invitation, is allowed to attend the banquet. An entourage like us, we can only sit around in the reality hotel, unauthorized to even enter dreams. Mm. No wonder Aventurine's scrambling to partner up with someone. The IPC can't back him <laughs> up in the dreamscape. No, we know. His situation isn't optimistic, <sighs> I hear. You're all helping to investigate some dirt on the family, are you not? Let me know if you need anything outside the dreamscape. The IPC always treats its partners well. Thank you, Miss Topaz. We're on our way to the Hounds to verify some intel. Perhaps you've had dealings with them? <laughs> yep. They're tailing us right now. Why not go and talk to them? They don't take the spotlight off me. Being constantly stared at is really uncomfortable. Hmm. Wow, Topaz, she's here. Oh my god, finally. Finally, we got a break. Wow, wait. Can we just talk about how crazy Sunday was? He's so dangerous. Sunday's so dangerous. How was he able to do that? Is he also an emanator? Emanator of harmony? <sighs> is that what he is? Hmm. Oh, hello, Maria. Welcome. Sorry, I didn't see your message earlier. Icon moving. <sighs> what? <clears throat> Icon moving towards the past. The first time we met her was from the future. Well, I I've heard of that theory. But I believe that theory was in relation to 
the possibility of her being an emanator of finality, right? Because the eon of finality does move backwards. As far as I know. But the fact that she is a seven alliator, emanator of nihility, I don't think that theory still holds water. Hmm. But like, um, what is it? Um, where's that information? The one about terms. Something about self-annihilator. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Wow, I'm blind. Where is it? Is it faction? Right, this one. So they're saying here that um, they have similar properties. Oh my God, where is it about the memory thing? Right, this one. Um, some self leader have their skin turned into something like rotten wood, full of holes and scars, or their endocrine system disrupted, unable to distinguish between pleasure and pain, and turning numb to everything. Lose some lose their memories. So, so we know that Akron is losing her memory, right? And like, uh, what is it? That theory about her moving backwards and like her knowing how to walk on walls the first time we met her but then she didn't know how to do that when we were with black swan at first it was like it could it could make sense that she is a minute of nihility and she's moving backwards like she had that knowledge first but then before that she didn't but now that we know she's a minute of nihility and she's losing her memories it could be that she forgot because she lost her memories of how to walk on walls after we met her for the first time in a dreamscape you know, I guess I, that's what I think. Yeah. So yeah, I don't I don't know, but her moving backwards is still true at this point. Topaz. Yeah, I see. So makes sense that she's here. Aventurin borrowed her stone from her. Now does it what feel a nice to be surprise. in business with Aventurin? I bet you're not used to it. It's not fun. That's just his style. Ball or nothing is his mantra. He's always cozying up to his clients while egging them on to undertake some dangerous assignment with him. But everyone has their merits, so I won't comment further. But Venturine's luck has always been good. He's always closed all his cases without a hitch, and basically never lost a gamble. Which is why, on the issue of retaking Penna County, I'm watching with keen interest. Hmm, it works only when all parties' interests are aligned. Is that good, huh? As for the two cases, apologies, but I don't have much info on them either. All I can do is ask you to keep digging for more details. Mihoyo really be giving all their female characters malls in interesting places. I just noticed one on <laughs> Topaz just now. <sighs> but it's not important. Let's talk to these people. We're carrying out our captain's orders. What, what do you want? We made a mistake last time, and we're working hard to rectify it now. We don't have time for anything else. Surveilling the IPC executive Topaz, ensuring that she stays put at the Reverie Hotel during her time on Panacone. We've got the right one this time. The right one? So that's it. They were the pair who were after Firefly at the time. Oh... Huh? We meet again? 
Ah, it's you again. Back for more trouble? We're not afraid of you this time. <laughs> well, spit it out. Stop bothering us if you've nothing important. So you know each other. Uh, why do you keep running into people you've beaten up before? <laughs> I've got business with your captain. Where is he? That's right. We're investigating a murder for the family. Can we speak to your captain about the case? Who? Oh, uh, well... Hey! The security officer instructed everyone to shut their traps before he returned from Dream's Edge. What murder? You'd better stop spouting nonsense. Yeah, th 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 that's right. We have nothing to report. Please leave. I was so like confused. Going to cooperate, but they did at least tell us that the captain is at Dream's Edge. Why don't we just look for the security officer then? It's probably Gallagher, the one she mentioned, right? I'm so confused. They so they were looking for Topaz this whole time. But why was in the first quest last time they were saying that it's silver silver hair man that they were looking for when clearly Topaz is not a man? Huh? We, Am I getting it right? We have nothing to report. Please leave. Okay. Please continue to investigate the case. All I can do is sit tight in the real world. I look forward to hearing your progress. One person saying that they're looking for a silver hair man, but then Black Swan heard that they were looking for uh, somebody in silver armor. But now they are hmm. keeping an eye on Topaz, a civil silver hair woman. Right, yeah, Gallagher said that it's a man. <laughs> but then Black Swan said that it's somebody in silver armor, question mark. But now they're keeping an eye on Topaz. <laughs> this is weird. Is this translation problem or am I just dumb? Where, where are we going? Very strange. But if they're looking for a silver hair woman from the beginning, then that, then that's Topaz. Oh, I such don't know. tight security. I bet they're stumped by the case as well. Uh, Gallagher. Gallagher. Ga <sighs> Apologies. The Bloodhound family is running an investigation up ahead. No unauthorized personnel allowed. Hold on a minute. I think I've seen you before. The, the gray-haired one. How much trouble have you <laughs> stirred up exactly on Penicone? Not that much. Uh, you got the wrong gal. Not possible. It was you the last time yelling about some clockwork friendship while... Beating me up with that silver-haired girl. That's that's not me. Uh, uh. Uh. I'm not <laughs> letting you get by this time. <laughs> Please leave, or I'll have to get on my knees and beg you. Huh? What kind of heinous crime have you committed now? Listen. Hold on, sir. We have documents authorized by the family that would aid your investigation. If it wouldn't trouble you, could we see this Mr. Gallagher? <sighs> Who exactly is this Gallagher you keep talking about? There have been a few people mentioning this name. Even the one with the gray hair. See, that's what's uh, weird, right? He didn't send you all here? It was the security officer who dispatched us? That's all I can divulge. Uh, he'll do! He's the one we've been looking for! Sorry, 
No can do. The boss said that since it's a matter of the family's reputation, no one's allowed through. Nobody in the Bloodhound family Everyone, seemed to know about Gallagher leave. for some reason. There's really no need for us to make things difficult for each other, right? We're really sorry for troubling you. <sighs> Let's think of another way. Another way? Uh, that's it! Didn't they say something about that... Oh, uh, what was it? Clockwork? That got this guy to change his mind? Can you perform it again? That... Uh, clocky magic! I can abuse it for evil doings, but is it? It's not evil doings. Please. Why don't people know Gallagher? If it's Sorry. like no can do. somebody of a the higher up in the Bloodhound family. It's a matter of the family's reputation. No one's allowed through. Everyone, please leave. There's really no need for us to make things difficult for each other, right? Let me see what time it is now. Whoa, it's this time already. What? Time to clock out. <laughs> and no one's gonna stop me. Uh, what? Huh? <laughs> uh, this clockwork trick of yours, it's kind of dangerous. Yes. At least he won't be getting in our way again. Let's go find that Gallagher and ask him the intricacies of the case. I was wondering what all the commotion was. Huh. Oh, it's you guys. Welcome. Since you made it here, what can I do for you? Hello, Mr. Gallagher, sir. Judging from your tone, it sounds like you were expecting us. Ha ha ha. Miss Himako, you're too polite. There's no need to call me sir. Mr. Gallagher, you even know my name. Of course I do. You folks are from the legendary Astral Express and honorable guests of the Watchmaker. Oh? I had an encounter with this lady in the Golden Hour. I remember that little silver-haired girl was there too. Honored I'm guests sorry of the for what Watchmaker. Happened, that kid. This is also the reason why we've come to visit you, Mr. Gallagher. The Express can't just overlook the death of that child. So we've decided to help the family get to the bottom of it, in the hopes of getting justice for her. The Nameless involved with the family. What an unpredictable twist of fate. Why? What's wrong with the family? Uh, it's nothing. On Penicone, everyone loves the family. Sure. No matter how much one resists the beautiful dream, when the time comes, they too will find it hard to let go. Who wants to leave a warm nest? Just idiots, little kids, and inebriated fools. Mr. Gallagher seems to be getting at something. Well, you got it wrong. I'm not. You want to discuss the case? Sure. Come with me. This is not a good place to talk. Let's go elsewhere. I haven't done any of the side quests in 2.1. Did I miss something about Gallagher? Why is it all the security from the Bloodhound family? They don't know him. Even after that chilling tragedy, oh. this dream is still running effortlessly. Other than the family of the Harmony, it's hard to imagine any other power in the universe that could sustain a building of such magnitude. The family itself is a huge, perfect building. Like a living idol. 
Each member of the family sees themselves as a piece of the divine puzzle, revolving around a singular core and a shared ideal. Under their command, they loyally fulfill their roles, offering themselves while also receiving sustenance in return. Interesting analogy. Perhaps that's why Penacone's beautiful dream has persisted for so long. But the human body has its limits, and so does the Divines. That doesn't sound like the kind of comment a Galaxy Ranger would make. Just pointing out the facts. Mr. Yang will definitely have a better sense of what's going on than I do. Why do you say that, Miss Acheron? The beautiful dream is crumbling. But not because of a particular eon, a particular faction, or a particular visitor. Its collapse stems from a certain inevitability of human nature. The family refuses to acknowledge this, and it has ultimately backfired and become a catalyst. As people immerse their souls in the dreamscape, where consequences and pain cease to exist, and only ease and pleasure prevail, they draw closer and closer to necrosis. Regardless of the perceived bliss, death looms as the inevitable conclusion. Also, this necrosis will diffuse and spread. One piece of the puzzle's mutation will eventually cause the entire building to shake, break, and crumble. In the end, the dreams that people built in the name of freedom became the cage that imprisoned them. I'm sure you've gained a lot from this trip, Miss Acheron. Are you willing to share your findings with me? Of course. That's if I remember. <laughs> oh no, <laughs> if she remembers. <coughs> Don't mind me, it's just a habit. Owing to events in the past, I've become easily... forgetful. It's only when this sword is unsheathed that those hazy memories start to become clearer. Mm -hmm. Take your time. That should do it. I vividly remember everything that occurred on Penacone. Ask away. Regarding the moment of daybreak. The moment of daybreak. I've heard that's where the Dawn Factory, which processes the foundation of the dreamscape, is located. Behind the dreamscape's song and dance stand many imagination factories. Workers create all kinds of whimsical works day in and day out in their dreams. Then they return to reality and sleep on a narrow bed in a room. A far cry from luxury. They say it will suffice. Experiencing the bizarre and motley dreamscape is the best reward. There I encountered a young woman who had just come of age. The perfect time to indulge in beautiful dreams. Her greatest wish was to one day move to the golden hour and see the magnificent garments she had woven with her own hands. For certain reasons, her wish was difficult to fulfill. But I managed to bring her a garment. Hmm. But the Gilded Hour... Gilded Hour. It's said to be Penacone's currency center. Yes. It is a fortress-like financial city. The economic heart of the dreamscape. The Papeshi people of the Alfalfa family are there to keep it running. Sending blood that is made from money everywhere on Penacone. Everyone there is exquisitely dressed and always in a hurry. The greatest wish of the local Papeshi people is for their future generations to work in the Gilded Hour. I've never met anyone who is willing to talk. I could only stand at the crossroads, watching crowds of people hurrying like the wind through the jungle of steel, only to deposit the alfalfa credits that they'd earned into the bank's vault. How long has she been in a dreamscape? I don't know if they would open the vault door. But before I left, I witnessed a well-dressed Papeshi person plummet from the sky. All those around him continued on their way, unfazed. About the Blue Hour... I hear the Blue Hour is uh, very romantic. 
Do you have any tales to share? Perhaps Mr. Yang has heard. There is a large boat called the Aventide, anchored along the Sea of Dreams, where soft music and dancing persist endlessly every night. I ran into a wizened lady there. She was at the dock, waiting for her long-departed lover to return, waiting for countless hours within time that stood still. In the humid sea breeze, she spoke of her own youth. Like many who desired wealth and love, they came to Panacone to pursue their dreams. Alas, her lover's consciousness was lost in the dark depths of the Sea mm -hmm. of Dreams. Finally, she suggested we continue our conversation on a boat in the shallows. I agreed and boarded the boat with her. But she never said anything. Her eyes absent-mindedly gazing at the horizon for what seemed like forever. Finally, we retreated to the beach. The dreamscape of chic, luxury, and consumerism, the moment of dusk. My companions have been there too. Then you all must have seen those who are attempting to realize their dreams. Or have realized them. Scattering money as if it were dust and betting it on all or nothing. Everything has a price and everything can be bought or sold. Even dreams themselves. I saw an Intellitron there who was preparing to auction himself. Whoa. When someone wins a bid under stipulated periods and rules, he would do the buyer's every bidding, becoming that person's very possession. Wow. That Intellitron had been auctioned off a dozen times, and I participated in his 13th. That was the grandest banquet I had ever attended. But never again did anyone cast another glance at him. This time around, there were no successful bids for him. This is what I've seen and heard along the way. How long she's been here? Someone once said to me, Panacone wasn't like this a long time ago. Nor should it be. I've traveled through the reality and dreamscape of the planet of festivities, watched the tides of night rise and fall when time stopped for people, where the spirits of the rich and impoverished remain forever fixed on their own scales. This is why I think the collapse of the beautiful dream is inevitable. There might be a way to change everything. Perhaps. But if this is indeed the world that people desire, if this is precisely why life chooses to slumber, should we still seek to change it? <sighs> Miss Acheron, now it's my turn to share a story with you. There was a man from my homeland who at a time when the world was grappling with deep, unhealable pain, made a choice. He wove together the dreams of everyone in the world, linking people's dreamscapes, and shouldered this burden himself. From this, he created a giant, a spiritual Adam. And since that moment, the giant stood between heaven and earth, becoming the pillar of the world's existence. Oh, the music. As a price, those who found it hard to move forward, who could not advance, forever lost their future. They slumbered in a dream, devoid of disaster and pain, living out their days peacefully in the man's created utopia. And it is because of the wishes of those people who wished not to awaken that this spiritual Adam became unbreakable. And yet, you stand here right now, which also means that man failed. Hmm. Because people must always move towards the future. Even if human weaknesses make them pause when they truly cannot move forward, Humanity will eventually seek a way to save itself. And that man 
He was never a failure. Like everyone in that world, he etched the possibilities of human nature into his heart. He was the sun chaser of legend, soaring towards the sky and embracing his final victory with his fall. He ascended to heights uncharted, only to come face to face with the sun, a place not visited by anyone before. His wings would melt because of it, only for him to fall into the sea. And after that, countless others would surpass him, soaring to even greater heights. A fitting metaphor for the nameless's trailblazing spirit. Thank you, Mr. Yang. I know what you wish to confirm. The universe has innumerable similar, yet different, worlds. In these worlds, there are innumerable people who look alike, yet don't. Oh. I too have embarked on journeys, encountering old friends with familiar faces on different worlds, witnessing their destinies follow paths similar to mine. So I will tell you, even if not completely similar, the story you just told, it overlaps with my past, and within that abyssal dream. I ended that man's life, alone. <sighs> oh, shit. I am not who you think I am, nor will my home be as fortunate as your world. I am sorry. It's fine. I don't mind, so long as I can alleviate your suspicions. There's something I still wish to know, Miss Acheron. Under that representation of the hunt, exactly what sort of power is it that has motivated your solitary journey thus far? Mr. Yang, before answering that question, I wish to continue the previous topic. I like your analogy very much. Indeed, birds are born to fly. But in a distant past, their ancestors could only gaze at the sky in envy. They saw that faraway ray of light from above the heavens, piercing through the clouds and blanketing the earth. And so, time and time again, generation after generation, the birds spread their wings and took to the sky, attempting to touch its ceiling, all because the sun was there. Then, what if the last bird finally soars into the sky, only to realize that the end of the light is not the sun, but darkness? Mm. Then why, exactly, do we even walk towards the light? Oh, Akron. Long time no see. Having fun on Penitone? Acheron. Bootheel? This voice. It's not Constance. Could it be her companion? Though I don't know exactly what you are, or what you're up to, my bullets will find you. Until then, you best find a casket store on Penacone and ask the owner to reserve a good quality casket for you, imposter. Oh, I know he's gonna be interesting. Imposter? I see. She gave my whereabouts to someone who's tracking Acheron, too. Who are you? Huh? Uh, did I make a mistake? <laughs> uh, who the heck are you? I'm the Garden of Recollections Memo Keeper. <laughs> Not bad. This is the kind of tough challenge I like. You that imposter's bodyguard? Bodyguard? 
Never mind. It's fine. I'll leave around for you. So get that forehead clean and wait for me. Oh. I don't know what you're talking about, but you know Acheron, the Galaxy Ranger, yes? I have something to ask you. <laughs> Are you asking me to write your will? Sure. Go ahead. Not quite. I only want to ask, how exactly did she become a Galaxy Ranger? <sighs> She's clearly not a path strider of the hunt, but you are, aren't you? Tell me, what's Acheron's deal? <laughs> sure. Heck, never thought I'd come across an ally. What a stroke of luck. Oh, well. <laughs> I'll be on Penacone soon. Uh, memo Keeper, go buy a bottle of his Donna's White Oak and warm it up, and I'll raise a glass to you. That lady's past. <laughs> well, nobody knows. But if all you want is a simple answer, sure, you best get a chair and take a seat. That woman, named Acheron, is an emanator who should not exist. Hold up. Yeah, I just want to get that. Oh, wow. Is there really... It's not pausing. Can we just get a break for like five seconds? <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, for research purposes, exactly. Wow, can we just talk about that interaction between Weld and Akron real quick? Well, I well, I really love the writing of this quest so far. They don't have to explicitly mention the name and Weld didn't have to explicitly explicitly say that she he was trying to confirm if Akron is the same person as May from her home world, you know? But Akron got it, and she's like, no, I'm different. And like, the fate of my world is c uh, quite different than the fate of your world. I love that. Wow. Oh, that's crazy. Yeah, the side, the side quests in 2.0 is... they're great. But my one conclusion from doing all those side quests is that the family is suspicious. <laughs> they would allow people who already dead to be reconstructed in a dream. They would allow the literal reference to Oppenheimer to be kept in there so that they could somehow unlock his memory, the secret formula to making an atomic bomb. There will be people who could reconstruct a dead person based on memories of that person to be in the dream world. The family erasing people's memory and allowing them to stay in them. Like, they're hiding criminals, right? Um, yeah, the family, they're, they can do whatever they want because they can. That one particular side quest with, uh, oh my god, what's her name? You know, the fake emperor who's actually a war criminal. The way that she asked the family to erase her memory so that she could start anew in the dream world. That's kind of crazy because the guy, the guys who were chasing after her said that according to the law, they cannot they cannot execute her for as long as she doesn't remember her memory <laughs> and the, fa the family then basically means that they're helping they're hiding a criminal in a dreamscape yeah that's that's crazy but like how how do they do that 
how do they erase people's people's memory? I wonder if they're like just working together with, you know, Garden of Recollection. Because who else could help them? But yeah, I, I love the side quest in 2.0. There's also that one girl who's actually been dead for a long time, pushed down the stairs by, by the sister. Or that girl. Oh yeah, I love that. I love the one who was like a, an aspiring artist and ended up being a waiter at a closing clothing store. Yeah, Ali's sister. Oh my god. And she is working like a normal person while she literally killed her sister. How come the fam the family surely knows that, right? They surely knows because they did mention that. For every person who got into a dream, they have a record of them. So they should sure know that the sister it, that is in the dreamscape is not alive. But they're just letting the receptionist to continue working at the Reverie Hotel. That's crazy. Me too, I was very shocked with the plot twist. She's like, what's the deal? Why, why is she so upset at her sister? But then she's like, yeah, of course she wouldn't, won't see me ever again because she still remember that, that day she pushed me down the stairs. I was like, my jaw was on the floor. Like, excuse me? You're dead? Insane. Yeah, wow, it's, it's been good so far, Pernaconi, isn't it? I thought I would never be interested in more Star Rail Quest after, <laughs> after, you know, Luofu. After the mess that was Shanzhou Luofu Quest. But Pernaconi is good. This is really good. I love it. Also, can I just mention that the shape, what is it? The bracelet, Aventurance bracelet is reminding me of those monsters in the memory zone. You know, those, those, um, the purple monsters? Doesn't it look like that? The shape of it. I've been wondering about that. Why is it so similar? Maybe it means nothing. Maybe it means something. We don't know. Okay. Yeah, those gems monsters, exactly. What's up with that? He's from... He's like working for the IPC. Why is he... Maybe because he's dressed like people in the dreamscape? Question mark? But yeah, very interesting. I don't know if that's gonna have anything to do with anything. You look pale. Or is that also part of your act? <sighs> I didn't think you'd have the nerve to show yourself. I thought this was exactly what you wanted. After all, I faithfully fulfilled my duties as you instructed. Just tell me if you can't hold on any longer. So, the genius of the Council of Mundanites wants to be my undertaker now. <laughs> my, what an honor. Yes. And I'm pretty sure the people at the Strategic Investment Department would love to be notified of your death in due time. But let's not forget, you won't be seeing them, because I'm the manager of this task. <laughs> Great. Then tell your people that Aventurine is ready to go in 17 system hours. <laughs> the boyfriend are oh, fighting you've again. you've got a lot of nerve. <laughs> 
How exactly do you plan on completing your task while your hands are tied by the harmony? Well, my conversation with Sunday convinced me that there's a trade. No wonder Tovas immediately flirt with Yumeko the moment she sees another another woman, you know? She's so surrounded by these two guys who won't stop flirting and fighting with each other. I even managed to recover the gift money. <laughs> Things haven't gone this smoothly since I walked through the doors of the reverie. Now I'm only one step away from victory. Let's just wait and see. Sounds like a very elaborate way of saying that you failed. <laughs> That's all I can say. Have you forgotten, Doctor? You betrayed me. Go. Do what you must. I look forward to the sight of the IPC fleet surrounding Panacone. You've achieved what you desired, haven't you? That's true, but what's your plan? Did you conceal an orbital support beacon in that gift money bag? Well, who knows? Maybe that's why I'm handing out cash even when I'm about to bite the dust. You are, indeed, a gambler. An insane one, at that. Maybe I am. Maybe he has another Who stone. <sighs> Fine. Here, take this. Open it when you're on your last legs. You'll thank me. What's this? Medical advice? <laughs> Oh, he's gone. <laughs> <laughs> you catch on pretty fast, Doctor. <laughs> Yikes. Asking me to solve the case without giving a single clue. How typical of you, you wing headed scoundrel. But the way you're all on edge about that stowaway, <laughs> it's just as I guessed it would be. As for now, let the rain of wealth from the IPC fall evenly on everyone. Maybe he has another stone. Didn't he say that three chips were all... What well, he only needs three chips. Because the color of the stone that he was holding in the trailer is quite different than his green adventuring color stone. Or was I blind? Hmm. What was that? Let me see. Mm -mm -mm. Most exquisite scroll. Doctor's prescription within. Or is this? It cannot be. It cannot be ratio stone. Inside there. Could it? Would you be willing to support my performance? Oh my god, look at the effect. keep the effect. song of beauty alive in the cosmos? I got these gems for you. Wow, how fabulous! But why would you give such a wonderful gift to a random stranger like me? Well, you see, I can't bear to see anyone in this sweet dream suffering from poverty. That's incredibly kind of you. Thank you so much, sir. If you ever get the chance, please feel free to come by and indulge in my singing. <laughs> sure thing. Oh, by the way, do you happen to know anything interesting about death? Death? That's a pretty scary topic, and it doesn't really match the mood of this sweet dream. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you see, I'm a tabloid reporter collecting ghost stories in Panicone. <laughs> As you know, the more chilling the stories, the more attention they get. 
Maybe you could help me out. Well, if you're up for some gossip, it's not about death, but there have been some rumors about a guest at the Reality Hotel who fell into a deep sleep and didn't wake up. Hmm? It was like they were in some sort of coma. Nobody knows what caused it, but luckily the customer eventually regained consciousness. Well, all customers are under the protection of the family, after all. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Thank Coma, you. you said. This will make for a very juicy headline. May Shibe protect us. Unexplained coma. <laughs> That's actually what happens to your body if your brain dies in a dream. But unfortunately, the customer ended up waking up in the end. <sighs> I can feel something inside my head. Is the harmony starting to kick in? Uh, the world has truly lost its way. I got these gems for you. It's like Oprah giving money here and there. You wait. I get it now. This is some sort of prank show, right? <laughs> you must have some camera set up around here to film yourself doing good deeds, right? You youngsters are always looking for a quick way to get an audience. But you know what? A truly great show never comes easy. Uh, yeah, here's a movie critic. <laughs> oh, a great show will start soon, old man. But before that, I need to ask you something. Do you know where I can find death? in this dream. Ah, I see. Another fearless youngster looking for death, huh? Well, let me give you a piece of advice. Don't think you're the first one who's ever thought of that idea. Death? Not even remotely innovative. I bought it from Dr. Edward. He claimed it was some exclusive fancy schmancy stuff. Oh, but what a disappointment. The effects were awful. First, some monster covered in eyes stabs you in the gut. And then all you see are blurry glimpses of buildings and lights. Oh, the sky was spinning so fast it almost made me puke. Is that all? Yeah, what else can you expect? Don't put too much stock in the Penacone movie industry. They even call this junk groundbreaking art. <laughs> Can you believe it? <laughs> what a joke. Well, I'll leave you be then. I hope you have a wonderful day. A monster covered in eyes. That sounds like the memory zone meme. But buildings and lights. I don't think those have anything to do with death. Well, that whole dream bubble was probably created using rumors and gossip. <sighs> ah, the disturbing voice in my head. <sighs> it's getting closer. A uh, sip of liquor. So dangerous. A blissful reprieve. What's gonna happen to him? Drowned a thousand sorrows. Let worries leave. <laughs> I know I have what it takes to become a poet. Oh? <laughs> you... You're giving these gems to me? Didn't expect to meet such a generous soul in this place. <gasps> or are you just pitying me? Well, it really doesn't matter. As long as I have Soul Glad, that's enough. This is just a dream, after all. <laughs> you really shouldn't drink so much Soul Glad, my friend. It's not good for your health. Is oh. so glad not alcoholic? <laughs> Was he drunk? Maybe I really should quit. But not before meeting the devil of soul glad. <laughs> <laughs> the devil of soul glad? Care to elaborate? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> See, It's a seahorse. With a long neck. They say... It loves to appear to junk people, especially the ones who are passed out on the side of the road. <laughs> How funny. <laughs> yeah, very funny indeed. 
thank you. <laughs> oh, does everyone have to go through so much torment before joining the family? <sighs> Darn it! <laughs> oh, now it's I just getting want to take out my brain and use it as evidence. Take care, my friend. If you ever find yourself in danger, remember that the hounds are always ready to help. I got these gems for you. <sighs> you don't look good, my friend. If you need assistance, I can contact the hotel and have them wake you up forcefully. That won't be necessary. I have some business to attend to. But thank you all the same. All right, then. If you ever need help, don't hesitate to reach out to us hounds. Well, actually, I do need a favor. As the most outstanding hound in Panacone, have you come across any <laughs> stowaways recently? Stowaways? How could there be stowaways in Panacone? We've never had anything like that before. <laughs> All right. Mm -hmm. Good luck with your work, then. Uh, what was I even thinking? The family would never share intel with the IPC. <sighs> wow, there's more people to ask around. This is the one. Mm. It has to be. Uma. You want to talk to me? Sure. But nothing too sensitive, okay? I got these gems for you. Huh. Wealthy people have fancy ways to enjoy this dream. But to be honest, I've never seen anyone who gives out money to others like you. <sighs> so, are you trying to be the prince from the tale? Handing out his gold leaf garment and melting his lead heart in the fire? <laughs> I'm flattered. I'm no prince, and... I just thought these gems would help you speak. So, as an investigative reporter, maybe you've heard something about death? Ah, uh, another curious soul. I see. Well, that was actually the topic I was most into when I entered the industry. But my boss shut it down. How did your boss talk you out of it? Well, she simply said... Covering baseless urban legends like that would make us look like some third-rate tabloid. I thought about it, and she had a point. Reporting on stuff like blowing out birthday candles and getting spooked by nightmare ghosts isn't exactly professional material. Mm, guess she's got a point. Thank you for sharing. <laughs> oh, what's gonna happen to him? Hmm. Oh, were you wanting to talk to me? Sorry, I thought you were checking out something behind me. What? No, it's for you. Money. This? A gift? For me? Yes. A are you sure this isn't some kind of mistake? Yes, it's for you. Just take it. Is this for real? Someone is actually giving me a gift. Not for my parents, but for me. Thank you. Thank you so much. No, oh, it's not. Is much. it just me or the I effect on the screen is getting thicker? <sighs> I knew it. What's on your mind? Are you trying to ask about my father or my mother? I don't even um, know them, bro. Neither. I just wanted to know if you've ever heard about death in the dreamscape. Oh, you sound just like my father. Always warning me about danger, even in dreams. He's an Intellitron, so his dream entry methods are different from us organics. Can't count on him to protect me if something does go haywire. Funny, right now I'm still under his protection. <laughs> How ironic. Hey, stay positive. Gold will always shine one day, right? Hmm, the devil of soul glad. Dangers in the dream, and nightmare ghosts. 
Well, surely death is a popular topic in this sweet dream granted by the family. Oh. Uh -oh. Remember what I said? You Sigonians are better off hiding in the sewers. Look at you, snooping around and sticking your nose everywhere. Is the smell of death so enticing, my fine fellow? <laughs> oh, it's you, masked fool. I should have guessed it. You're the imposter who appeared on TV after Robin's death, right? I heard you got caught by the family. I gave you a clear clue. Befriend a mute. Simple and straightforward, you know? And what did you do? You messed it up and ended up as their prisoner. I told you to make friends with a mute, not become one yourself. You really let me down. What do you mean? You know better than I do. Who watched the little songbird that couldn't sing perish right before their eyes? You did, Blondie. Uh, no, I, I mean... What did you mean by becoming one myself? Well, it means you'll soon end up like her, unable to speak ever again. Is that what happened to her? But it's a good thing if you ask me. Because... Because I'm getting closer to the truth, right? Oh? Why else do you think I'm handing out cheap trinkets all over the streets, fool? All part of the act. Fool's bait. The more pathetic I seem, the more likely you'll come sniffing around. So, now that I've drawn you out, Will you reward me with an answer for my efforts? Why should I help you? Don't you want to see Panacone descend into... chaos? Well, I can make that happen. I just need an answer to one question. Back then, when you asked me to find a mute, did you really mean Robin? Hmm. And what if I say no? Then I'll thank you. <laughs> oh, the word no has never sounded so pleasing. <laughs> well done. I admit I underestimated you, but what difference would it make? Let me tell you something. There were two mutes, but one is dead now, and the other, though he's still in Penacony, I'm afraid you'll never find him again. Now I'm completely sure that I was on the right track from the beginning and never strayed, fool. Right now, there are only two things missing from my grasp. The meaning behind the truth, and the means to expose it. <laughs> How impressive. That's quite a fancy way of saying I haven't learned <laughs> anything so far. Not exactly. I've gathered enough clues to prove its existence. And that's enough for me. As for the answers to my questions, I'll find them within 17, no, 16 system hours. Oh, really? Only 16 system hours? Well, let me lend you a hand. Here you go. This is my precious, mutually assured distraction button. And Ugh, I have one just like again. it. When either of us presses it, the other and the whole of Panacone will go up in smoke. If you're really so desperate for the IPC to take oh, okay. over Panacone, take care of the chest bye bye. Board isn't a bad idea. Start from scratch. That's where the IPC excels, right? 
Hmm. Ooh. Just press the button when you're at your wit's end. And of course, feel free to reach out to me for my hospice care, too. Oh, a deadly button, huh? <laughs> well, I guess the family didn't take your threat seriously at all. Otherwise, how on earth did you manage to bring it in here? <laughs> I have my own ways. That's all you need to know. <laughs> well, I'm afraid I'll have to decline your offer. Who knows if your little gadget will actually work. By the way, I have no plans to search for the other mute friend Who's you this speak other of. other mute friend? But it's good to hear that he's still here in Penicone. I'll handle the rest myself. I'll orchestrate a grand finale for the downfall of the family. <laughs> and at the climax, the walls will crumble, people will wake up, and those who couldn't speak will find their voices again. When that time comes, go ahead, press the button, light up the sky with a magnificent fireworks display for me. Catch you later, fool. <laughs> You're still talking big, but sure, if that happens, I'll stay true to my word. Just don't let me down now. Okay? Hmm. Hmm. So, number 35. You're back. Like your new lucky charm. Can a commodity code really be considered a lucky charm? Silence! I didn't give you permission to speak, you Sigonian hound. The guys in black didn't say much, so I've no idea what you did to save your skin in that massacre back in the day. But I figured you must have had good luck, so I bought you. From now on, you and your good luck are my assets. <laughs> are we clear? Oh my god. Your first task is simple. In asleep. addition to you, I've purchased 30, uh, well, 34 other slaves. Go and play a game with them. <laughs> you came out alive after two days. It proves that you are the real deal. You're insane. <laughs> Testing out if you're a good product. Uh, aren't you worried that the money you spent on me will go to waste? I've got stacks on stacks, Blondie. The slave market is never short of self-righteous brats like you. But you look good, and that's why many customers are betting their fortunes on a scrawny brat like you. So go along now, and uh, don't let your master down. Uh, how much did you spend? What? My price. Uh, how much did you pay... for me? Huh. You really want to know? Hmm. Well, it was 60 tanva. No more, no less. I'll take my chances. 30 tanva. If I come back alive, you'll give me 30 tanva. Deal? <laughs> Are you trying to strike a bet with me? Oh, you've got some guts. Yeah, sorry, but uh, that won't do. Don't forget your place, slave. You're not qualified to be at the table. You're just a chip, a life thrown away in someone else's hands. Either you come back with more chips for your master, or you never come back. It's all or nothing. Don't embarrass me, my lucky hound. Damn. Wow. Huh. 
What brings you here, Gallagher? Oh, it's Some the famous the NPC. Do you have a moment to spare, Siobhan? Oh, I have the whole day to spare. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Dream Jolt Hostelry. This bar offers a wide variety of drinks, but we draw the line at Soul Glad. Why settle for ordinary when you can experience extraordinary? We're dedicated to serving up nothing but pure joy and laughter. <laughs> what would you like to drink? I'll whip it up for you. Oh, look! A lady as cool as Serval! <laughs> She's cool and it. Who's Serval? Will you uh, introduce me to her? Huh? Oops! <laughs> She's heard us. Just spare them, my esteemed bartender. I'll take over the bar today. I'm getting up there in age, and I need some practice before I forget the skills that used to put food on my table. Uh, where did you stash the ingredients? They're all under the counter. Since our guests have traveled from afar, shouldn't you whip up some special drinks? That's exactly what I had in mind. <laughs> hey, my friends, do me a favor. Go around the bar and bring me any ingredients you fancy. The discussion might take quite some time. So I'll prepare some customized, non-alcoholic drinks for you. In the bar? But aren't all the ingredients right there on the counter? Why, we're in a dream, my lovely lady. You can help yourself to anything if you wish for it. Comfort, hunger, confusion, or even boredom. It's all within reach, right at your fingertips. <laughs> oh, did you hear that? She just <laughs> called me my lovely lady. Oh, March. Even in reality, mixing drinks is more than just throwing ingredients together. A bartender needs to capture the bar's atmosphere, master technique, and spin a tale of mystery and anticipation. Only then can a perfect drink crafted with a customer's life story be created. In other words, what you get from your drink is down to luck. So don't overthink it. Indecisiveness has no place when it comes to enjoyment. Ingredients. Where do we get them? Oh, check out this bottle. The liquid inside looks beautiful. And the label reads... Dream syrup. Thick. I don't see an expiration date. But the production date is half an amber era ago. Ew, that's long. Ugh, drinking this stuff can't lead to anything good. That's for sure. <laughs> yeah, but I thought we could drink anything in dream. Uh, that's true. Did you find the bottle of syrup I've been hoarding? Don't worry, it's all just a dream and it won't upset your stomach. It's been aging for years and should have a... Refined taste by now. Refined taste. Feel free to have some. It's perfect for entertaining lovely guests like you. Ugh. Then we'll keep it for now. This like at least 30 years ago. What else do we have? Uh, can this be used for mixing drinks? Oh, and there's a note underneath. Oh, what should we exchange for it? Hmm. Oh, give a bag of trash. Hey, what are you doing? You can't just throw trash. Uh, no way. The words on the note are changing. Happiness is the dream of the humble. Uh, does this mean we can take it? Something feels weird about this. Oh, that's quite a stash. Mm. Not sure if it's enough. Stay on- uh, Uh-huh. What? <sighs> Haven't I made myself clear enough, Miss Amagi? The Dream Jolt Hostelry only welcomes guests who want to enjoy a drink to their heart's content. I'm sorry, but I'm not interested in your proposal. 
But you have the talent. You'll attract a huge audience. You're destined for the Iris stage, not for this rundown shack. Come with me. We'll become the talk of Penacony, a shining light into every corner of the dreamscape. Please, Siobhan, I really need you. <sighs> As you see, I'm entertaining my guests. Don't make me repeat myself. Fine. If you don't come along, I'll just sit here and not go Who anywhere is this? else. Give me a sparkling drink. Sweet. With extra ice. Just... One moment. What's her deal? We can't discuss the case with other people hanging around the bar. Hey, can you do that clockwork trick of yours again? <sighs> Time is running out. We need to hurry. Yeah, I'm counting on you. I don't know why we're wasting time on this <laughs> unnecessary. You're one of Siobhan's guests, Stuff. right? What can I do for you? I just don't get why she won't leave this place. Sad, happy, make her happy. I've seen it. The moment when Siobhan and I share the stage, the crowd is going wild, applause crashing like waves, the aroma of irises fills the air, a beautiful melody playing, ribbons dancing around us. I've seen that scene countless times in my dreams, and every time it mesmerizes me. <sighs> Want to raise a glass, my attentive listener? Let's consider it a toast to my far-fetched dream. She's still not leaving. Maybe I'll have to try again. Oh, no. I just don't get why she... Uh make her angry so that she would leave those darn iris jerks ha uh, huh. i get it now i i can help clear the way for her i can yeah. do her a favor please go i'll go back and write a letter to the dream master exposing the crimes committed by the iris family Things might. I just don't oh. get why she won't leave this place. Oh. Seriously? She needs to be sad. <sighs> it's ridiculous, right? I'm too timid and shy. Longing to shine, but afraid of stepping into the spotlight. I need her guidance. Because I'll never be able to do anything alone. You don't know Siobhan's past. And you have no clue how radiant she used to be. Even among the talented Iris family, her skill was unmatched. I know she probably thinks I'm just trying to ride her fame to get ahead. But all I want is for her to reclaim her place. The VA for this NPC is working really hard. Well, talking to you has got me feeling a bit down. Maybe I should find a place to reflect on what Siobhan truly means to me. Here's the payment for the drinks. Please, pass it on to her. I'm leaving now. Amaki has left? 
That's good for her. Radiant dreams may be enticing, but they're nothing more than dreams. Her drink is on the house. Please keep the money. Ah, free money. When you're ready, go to Gallagher. What is that? That being said, mixing a drink is way simpler than you'd imagine. Just pick your favorite ingredients, toss them in a glass, mix it up, and it's done. So go ahead, explore the bar, and bring me any ingredients you prefer. Nice work. Let me take a look. You found some interesting ingredients there. Now take your pick. Each drink has its own unique flavor, and the base ingredient sets the tone for the initial taste and the lingering aftertaste. Mm. Dream syrup. <laughs> you won't find a sweeter drink anywhere in Pentacony. Now that you've chosen the base, it's time to pick the adjunct. The ingredient that'll create a marvelous chemical reaction with the base. Um... Bright future, sure. Bright future. A taste that's been a long time coming. I'll never forget the flavor that danced on my tongue as Mikhail whisked me through Mikhail? the dreamscape wilderness. Those were haunting times. Wait. Too beautiful to be real. Huh? Mikhail. Almost there. Let's hmm. pick a decoration. Mi Which style Sorry, do you prefer? What? Anything you need, I've got it. Mi what do you mean, Mikhail? Concentric circles. May you always remember where you started. Well, it's done. Mikhail, he said. Here's to you, dream seeker, with this glass of El Dorado. To golden dreams. <laughs> How would you know well Mikhail? Well done, Gallagher. You're not over the hill yet. That was 100 years <laughs> ago. So are you satisfied? Oh, the flavors. They're way more sophisticated than Soul Glad. Can we talk about Mikhail? The richness and layers of these flavors are a masterpiece, especially with the adjuncts. I can taste the spicy and sour notes with a hint of sweetness. I'm not entirely sure what it all means. Maybe Mr. Gallagher can shed some light on it. <clears throat> well, if you're expecting a profound answer, I'm afraid I'll disappoint you. The imagery it implies is pretty straightforward. It's just a glimpse of what this dream truly tastes like. Nothing more. Does this true taste have anything to do with that Mikhail? Mm hmm. Mikhail? Yeah, that name does sound familiar. When you got knocked out by that masked fool girl, I think I heard someone calling that name. Do you remember? <sighs> <laughs> I was right about you. You guys seem to know quite a bit. And now there's no reason to hide anything from you anymore. Let's dig deeper into the case. And of course, I'll tell you a story about Mikhail. Oh, he will? All right. Let's start with what we know based on the clues the family has. It seems that Firefly isn't a local or an invited guest. In other words... She's a stowaway. She managed to fool me at first. My age must be getting the best of me. But here on the planet of festivities, stowaways are a common sight. You're bound to run into one sooner or later. After the incident, the hounds wasted no time searching for that girl in both the dreamscape and reality. But here's the thing. We only received bad news, and the trickiest kind at that. She simply vanished leaving no trace in the dreamscape or reality, as if she had never come to Pentaconi at all. Interesting. Huh? Does that mean... Hmm. What does it mean? Death eradicated her? That's impossible. The problem now is not that she's dead but that it's as if she had never existed in the first place. 
Right. Let me be frank. This case, actually, is unlike anything the Bloodhound family has dealt with before. Dealt with before? So, death does happen in Panacone, if I understand correctly. You've witnessed it, so there's no need to hide. Even the shiniest city has its dark side. We're all adults here. Surely I don't need to explain too much to you. Confronting the family based on that alone would be naive. Death may occur in sweet dreams. So what? Such events are highly unlikely and only affect a tiny number of people. If you really want to delve deeper into this case, you need to understand the true problem with the family. I guess it's time to tell the story of that Mikhail. You're very perceptive. The Astral Express has received that music box too, right? Oh, Do you know the secrets it holds? There's a message. Witness the impossible in the realm of dreams. Find the legacy of the Watchmaker, father of Penacone, and thus the answer to the question, why does life slumber? <laughs> That's the exact wording. Hey, why are you laughing? Wait, did you write it? It's quite poetic. No, but I'm the officer in charge of this case, so how could I not know? I'm sure you must have noticed that this message didn't come from the family. You might have even guessed that the relationship between the family and the watchmaker isn't as close as it seems. That's just our speculation. Actually, it's hard to believe that the father of Panacone and its actual managers are at odds. Now I can assure you that your speculation is absolutely correct. The family has considered the Watchmaker an enemy for a long time. Oh. But the Hounds haven't been able to track him down, as he seems to be living only in the characters and stories he created. Let me oh. ask you a question. Have you ever wondered why the family allowed the Watchmaker to send out such a ridiculous message to the outside world, inviting you here and causing chaos? So, you want to seize this opportunity to expose the Watchmaker? Well, now you understand why the Oak family authorized the Nameless to assist in the investigation, but kept you in the dark, right? Because the Watchmaker is not the legend of the land of the dreams at all. He's the most shameful stain in the history of Penacone. And he's the root cause of all the anomalies in the dreamscape. Oh, that's a strong word. What does this have to do with Mikhail? You don't get it? Well, I mean... Mikhail, the betrayer of the family, he's the watchmaker. Mm -hmm. Betrayer of the family. Betrayer of the family. Betrayer of the family. What do you mean? Here we are. Clock Studios Theme Park. The most popular entertainment center in Penacone. Wait, aren't we supposed to be discussing the Watchmaker? I would have expected you to take us to... maybe... a library. Or an archive room of sorts. But an amusement park? The culture of a city reflects its history in the most authentic way. To you, it's a fun place. But to me, it's a prison for the planet's past. Yeah. You know that Penacone used to be the IPC's prison planet, right? All the prisoners were brought here. Helping the Garden of Recollection salvage the leaking Memoria from the Macro Void. The prolonged exposure to high concentrations of Memoria caused a unique phenomenon. The dreams of countless prisoners intersected and overlapped. And people started meeting each other in their dreams. Living lives that were almost identical to reality. But everything has a price. 
and sweet dreams are no exception. In the end, the dream world was unable to alleviate the suffering of prisoners in reality. One of the prisoners broke free from the IPC shackles and fought for freedom. He is Hanu, huh? the great leader of Dreamville, the great peacemaker, and the faithful companion of the underdogs. Oh. History is always written by the winners. However, it's undeniable that Clocky is an animation that draws from Penacone's actual history. These characters not only exist in Dreamville, but also in the distant past. Once you realize this, you'll understand why we're here. Yo. There are so many members of the Bloodhound family around here. They just received a lockdown order, supposedly from Sunday himself. Who knows what it's for? Oh, that's interesting. So, wow, I see. Wait, so if the if Hanu is one of the prisoners, then would that mean Clocky is actually like made of the image of the watchmaker himself? Huh. So many of them. I've never seen anything like this, even when they're tracking down suspects. It's pretty impressive, even from out here. Well, it's a masterpiece from the family, after all. Besides the followers of the preservation, the family members are the best at creating mind-blowing marvels. Let's find a quiet spot and continue our conversation. The view here is great, right? We can see everything from here, including Clocky. If all the characters in the animation are based on characters in reality, then Clocky's counterpart is definitely the Watchmaker. Mm -hmm. In the animation, he's Hanu's partner and one of the founders of Dreamville. Does that mean the Watchmaker was personally involved in that war and sided with Asdana? It was a monumental war for freedom. Hanunu fought alongside a motley crew of masked fools, nameless, history fictionologists, mourning actors, omen vanguards, even visitors from beyond the sky. In the end, they emerged victorious. Visitors from beyond the sky. Among them was the person who would eventually be known as the Watchmaker. But if you do the math, doesn't that mean the Watchmaker was around for several centuries? I'm not sure, but Mikhail was already the Watchmaker when I met him. What? So maybe he inherited the title. How old are you now, Mr. Officer? I'm 13. What? <sighs> no way. Not even close. Come on. Hanunu freed the frontier prison. Sorry, what? But peace still eluded him. With limited resources, threats from the outside world, and internal conflicts between major prison districts, the future of Osdana was uncertain. It wasn't until the Watchmaker approached the family with the idea of turning the prison into the planet of festivities that Penacone finally gained its name and glory. Thus, he became known as the Father of Penacone. But didn't you say the Watchmaker betrayed the family? And you said you were his companion, so that means you... No. I'm not his companion, but rather one of his many children. But I am indeed a traitor. Not to the family, but to Mikhail. What did you do? <sighs> I did nothing. And that's the worst betrayal of all. Just like you, I had close companions. We dedicated ourselves to Penacone. But the Oak family, they set us up. Mikhail was too old to protect his children anymore. So we left the family to find our own path. We were branded traitors of the Harmony, even though the true traitors were someone else. 
while they continue to praise the watchmaker's name in the world. Behind closed doors, they condemn him on a pillar of shame. Nevertheless, we wanted to clear his name. We intended to find the real traitor, the one responsible for all this, and restore harmony to Penacony. But we failed. Too much time had passed, and the land of the dreams had become deeply corrupted. After countless fruitless pursuits, I gave up. Like a lost dog. The family accepted me and made me an officer, supposedly as a form of forgiveness. But it was actually a punishment. Since then, I've been completely cut off from my partners and my past. As for Mikhail, I heard he died in obscurity, in a place where no one could find him. That's when I realized that the Penacony I once knew would never return. We're truly sorry for what happened. But this is not the end of the story, right? Hmm. Apparently, someone has inherited the title of the Watchmaker and has been secretly working against the family all this time. Interesting. Who could that person be? Unfortunately, after all these years, I have no idea who that person is, or if they're even real. Oh. Or just Mikhail's lost soul haunting the dreams. So, do you understand why I'm spilling all this info? Because I believe the girl's death must be connected to the Watchmaker's legacy. And at the end of all these mysteries, we will find the answers we are seeking. If it really is Mikhail's ghost, I want to meet him. If only for the last time. For those who despise me could form a line from here all the way to the entrance of the hotel. But those willing to look me in the eye and hear me out? Let's just say, there won't be many. I've told you all I know is a sign of gratitude. Thank you for listening to this old dog. Bark and all. Hmm? Uh, something just happened at the theme park. Uh, now, if you'll excuse me, good luck to all of you. How ironic. What's so different between the stowaways rejected by Penacony today and the Dream Seekers once hailed as pioneers several Amber Eras ago? Yo. Gallagher does have a troubled past, it seems. While Firefly's whereabouts remain a mystery, his stories shed light on our suspicions about the true identity of the Watchmaker, his connection to the family, and the power struggles hidden behind sweet dreams and death. The family isn't all united. Exactly. Gallagher suggests that the real traitor is someone else, probably within the Oak family. Death is related to the Watchmaker. That lines up with what we've gathered so far. Firefly got involved in this mess because of the legacy, and now we're sure that Aventurine's accusations against Acheron are baseless. Clocky is based on the Watchmaker. Uh, you're really into Clocky, huh? He's just a fictional character, not a real person. It could be important, girl. Speaking of which... That Clocky, who only reveals himself to you, is quite intriguing. It's a shame we've never met him since then. This pretty much sums it up. Now that we've confirmed a lot of our suspicions, let's take a moment to think about the clues we have. Send a message to Welt and see how things are going on his end. Yo! That's... Hmm, the Watchmaker's ghost. What if Misha is a ghost? But it was Misha's voice we heard in the dreamscape calling out to Mikhail. But it also cannot be Misha, because then he would be very old. 
Are your companions worried about you? They're just checking up on me. Let's get in and get out. Seems they've made some progress. Looks like we're about to enter the depths of Dewlight Pavilion. It's been a smooth ride. Almost too smooth for a heavily guarded mansion. Let's see if there's anyone waiting to greet us. Don't tell me there's more. There's more puzzle? Something feels off. A grand mansion like this and not a butler or servant in sight. Could it be due to the disruption caused by the emergency? Well, this door is open. Looks like we'll have to investigate ourselves. Let's proceed with caution. Just one moment. <sighs> Light. I've made myself less noticeable. The crew can explain their presence as authorized by the family, but I can't come up with any excuses for being here. I see. What an interesting technique. What? Stream four. The gleam of old plates. What did she do exactly? The model in the sand pit. It's the golden hour, isn't it? And the footprints here are different from the rest. There are two sets of them. Looks like outsiders might have passed through here not long ago. Can you identify the people who left these footprints? Well, there's a unique pattern here. <laughs> Flamboyant. Flamboyant, even. And judging by the size, I'd say these were men's shoes. If I'm right, mm. it could be the IPC be. ambassador. So Aventurine. nobody noticed her except for Welt? Aventurine. What about the other set? It looks like they were walking side by side as opposed to one behind the other. So the second individual is likely equal in status to Aventurine. The IPC is eager to reclaim Panacone, so their presence here is not unexpected. Well, there aren't any people in this mansion. They've set up quite a few mimetic guards to patrol this place. Tidings manifest. <laughs> Time to say bye. Boom. <laughs> I weep for the departed. It too shall fall. Destined for oblivion. <laughs> Relax. Beneath the waters lies an endless abyss. Stand still. On the still waters of oblivion. I weep for the departed. It too shall fall. Look, it dropped something. A note. Looks like instructions from the butler for the other servants. Hmm. Seems like the mansion's entire workforce were assigned other tasks before Robin's death. It must have been a big project to require that much manpower. But no matter what their main priorities are, there should always be someone left at the mansion, right? So you're saying someone deliberately cleared the place out? Yeah, but I don't know why. It's a trap. Wait, how far? How far into the quest am I? Let me see. Mm -mm -mm. <sighs> oh, it's third to last. Okay. 
No one here either. Since no one's around to entertain us, let's make ourselves at home. Stay close to me so that my white can cover you too. Her white? What does it mean? How are you doing these days? Intended to visit your Dulight Pavilion as soon as possible upon my return. Re refrain from troubling you. Share something with you immediately. Experience a peculiar change in my voice. Worsen over time. Periods of complete voice loss. The harmony in Panakone is not pure. Huh? Discord lurking within has tainted my voice of harmony, which I believe to be the root cause of my vocal issues. If any member of the family is involved, or a powerful external force is pulling the strings. Extremely alarming discovery. Traitor has emerged within the family in Penacony. Mm. The only true family member I have left. Oh, is he really? Oh, she knows about the death meme. Future inquires led me to believe that the culprit who directed it to cause this series of incidents is likely to traitor in the family. Oh no, Robin! Oh, she's getting herself in danger! As soon as I and the rest of the crew arrived in Penacone, Mr. Sunday and Robin showed up to greet us. I remember hearing something unusual in her voice. And now it seems I was right. Oh, Robin! Robin believed it was because the harmony had been tampered with somehow. But as far as I know, there aren't many entities capable of interfering with the power of paths. Meaning? If there really is a traitor within the family, that person must hold a high position or possess unimaginable strength. I.e. That e. would an explain animator? why Mr. Sunday has been having such difficulty in catching the traitor. Yo, Robin! Uh, she... she, she uh, but to be fair, we were not like talking to her at all, so there's no way she would know to trust the trailblazers. <laughs> ah, girl, she went on to investigate death meme by herself. Is that... So, see, is it like she investigated death meme by herself, discovered it, and then got killed? Or is it like somebody knew that she was investigating and then they wanted to shut her up then they're like uh-uh she cannot know about the death meme we have to kill her you know and so death death victim oh this is more of more more victim yo Lovian Dark into the Sea by Anon Meme. This was the first case. Can't tell if anything is wrong. Insufficient investigation. Mail from Shianzo. Mysteriously disappeared. Showed no signs of force, entry, or exit. Culprit can ignore physical barriers. Conven conventional investigation method feasible? Emaka, moment of scorched sands, accidentally fell off the stage before the judges turned around and disappeared in the shadow below. <laughs> before the judges turned around, is that... What is that American show? It's a reference to that. Disappeared in the shadows below. Footage for that episode for that show has been deleted. Culprit is swift and skilled at disguises. Caution is advice. Weber. Papa Shi fell down when entering his office on payday in Gilded Hour. Killed by unknown meme that suddenly appeared. See, memories of the witness have been processed. Oh, the family, why are they doing that? 
preferring to attack wounded or vulnerable individuals uncertain, maybe taking orders from someone else. Taken away while flipping over a card at a casino. Casino staff have dealt with the aftermath of the incident. Flipping a card. Interesting. Male human jumped into the ocean of dream bubbles in blue hour to impress his girlfriend but got entangled by an unknown meme under the sea and drowned. Girlfriend's memory have been processed but the outcomes are not satisfactory. What do you mean? Most cases are related to the ocean. Could this be a breakthrough? Interesting. After checking only two cases related to the ocean. <laughs> Malfunction engulfed by unknown meme. Listen, okay. Sweet dreams troop to meet and learn multiple culprits. Likely mastermind behind the scene. Hmm. Attacked by an unknown meme resulting in his death after a fight. But where did he go? Need to ask the Bloodhound family to strengthen defense in the prison and other facilities. Janet, female human, where the culprit demonstrated speech ability. For education, correction. Mysterious sound calling to her. Huh? Monk, male. Intellitron. Oh, there's a lot of them. Caught by a meme into a mirror, disappeared, witnessed by a teacher at the scene. Mirror. Currently, hypothesis is related to sight. In dark or dim environment, sight really a trigger? Sight? Blue hour. Witness currently receiving treatment from motivators. <laughs> Harassed by Sverben fan. Abducted? Abducted by unknown meme. Hiding under a chair. The list comp comprises over 100 cases related to the memory zone meme death. However, the author of the list seems to still struggle with figuring out the pattern. The information about Robin, Firefly, and the other victims. I don't see- Looks like the rumors were right. Death does seem to be targeting random victims. And based on Sunday's notes, he's no stranger to death. He's just surprised that it has resurfaced. Hmm. This light cone is securely guarded. It must hold some important memories. Oh. According to Robin's Little interview, Little Robin and despite Sunday. having performed on so many grand stages, her favorite performance was a, a pretend show she put on with her brother when they were just kids. Oh, I wonder Little how their Robin. relationship is now. Growing up brings gains, but also losses ah oh, look at that sunday yeah. he looks so pure a way of smoothing things out the beautiful dreams of youth will eventually in fade no away. way uh, they cannot just show that to us like that and expect us not to be sad about it what is this to sunday from alfalfa I would like to express my deepest con- Oh, they know. You know her position of not only her elder brother, but also the head of the old family. And you can allow your hatred to cloud your judgment. Okay. You are planning to dedicate a significant amount of time, resources to find death. Convinced that death is connected to the watchmaker, I've met the wa that watchmaker many times long before the dreams- Huh? Wait, what do you mean you met the watchmaker before? Never found any evidence linking him to that memory zone meme. The Charmony Festival is on the horizon. Watchmaker's guests are all barely holding back their own agendas. Postcardium Festival, avoiding any interference from external sources. Not neglect 
the honored guest invited by the watchmaker. As for the matter of Robin, there will be time to pursue it once the festival concludes. I'll provide you with the necessary resources, manpower. Additionally, I have heard rumors that the Dream Master is not entirely pleased with your recent activities. What recent activities? Oh. It seems neither the Dream Master of Penacone nor this old Oti is happy with Sunday's recent performance. They don't seem to care much about death. Instead, they're more concerned about the Charmony Festival and the Watchmaker. Maybe the other family heads don't think death is a big deal. One thing's for sure. There's a lot of internal conflict within the family, and everybody has their own agenda. More suspect? What is this? Is Tim here the head of the Oak family? Investigation into the all, sus all suspect involved in the death case has been concluded. Findings of the summaries below for your review. Okay. Total of 52 suspects on the list, followed by Sunday's note. Perhaps there is a common thread among them. I've reached a conclusion. Mr. Sunday has done some serious research on his suspects. This traitor must have been causing trouble for the family for a long time. They all seem to be insiders, but I haven't met any of them. Huh? Wait, these characteristics. What is it? No. Nothing. Maybe I'm just overthinking things. However, if this traitor really exists, could they be responsible for Firefly and Robin's deaths? Perhaps that's why Sunday is taking this matter so seriously. That's all for now. Nothing more noteworthy. Before coming here, I had all sorts of scenarios in my head about dealing with the family. I did not expect an empty mansion. Watch out. Someone's approaching. I don't think trespassing on forbidden oh. areas is the way to be a guest, Mr. Yang. And... Acheron? The Galaxy Ranger? Our apologies, Mr. Sunday. Uh, nobody came to greet us, so we entered without permission. I hope you can forgive us. But even if there's no one to greet you... You should wait for the host, don't you agree? Yikes. Even without the famous Galaxy Ranger. As far as I know, the crew has officially accepted the family's commission, so coming here will be unnecessary for you. On the contrary, that's exactly why we're here, to ask you about the case and gather more information. We don't want any loose ends. Hmm. Well, since you've come with goodwill, I have no reason to show you the door. Rest assured, he hasn't figured out that we went through those documents. Really? You think While so? While the truth remains a mystery, I'm getting close to it. I assure you that the traitor will soon pay the price. Let's hope justice will prevail soon. I have a question for you, if you don't mind. How did the family come to the conclusion that the murderer was within the family? With all due respect, it's in the IPC's interest to wreak havoc before the Charmony Festival, and the family has every reason to suspect the IPC's involvement. Well, other family heads share the same suspicions as you, but in my opinion, the true murderer would never have drawn as much attention as that ambassador did. Not to mention, I personally shackled him a while ago. <laughs> However, I'll give you a suggestion regarding your suspicions, Mr. Yang. You should be more cautious of Aventurine. While the wicked can't break through high walls, they can plunge their evil dagger into the heart of the righteous. 
He's a businessman, not some philanthropist. But right now, he's out there handing out his wealth on the streets. And he went to the Clock Studios theme park all by himself. Who knows what kind of scheme he's cooking up. While the family is dedicated to keeping our guests safe, it might be wise for you to stay alert. You never know what unexpected troubles could arise. Oh my god, he's so... suspicious. Sunday is very suspicious. Obtain some key clues and victory is at hand. Can he really last until the moment he climbs onto a clock city theme park stage? Oh, here it is. The big cutscene is coming. The loading is taking forever. According to a Pierpoint hotline tip, there was a major breakthrough in the shocking Ejhazio Aventurine case. The suspect has been arrested. This fraud case has been linked to many departments within the Interastral Peace Corporation and the Intelligentsia Guild, causing a large drain in manpower and resources, resulting in the IPC taking a massive loss. The case's main suspect originates from Sigonia IV and is one of the survivors of the second Kataka Avgin extinction event, who does not carry an interstellar refugee travel permit. As per Strategic Investment Department head Diamond Sentiments, the IPC has appropriately relocated the suspect in the spirit of the Charter and will continue to conduct further investigations as to the motive of the suspect. What oh pretty my God, who? eyes. Tell me, do they shine in the dark? Hold on, who is that? Is that Diamond? Wow. Hello, ma'am. Jade? Wow. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Wow. I see. I see, okay. Wow. Good to know. There's more interesting people in the IPC. Well, if they did, I'd sell them in a heartbeat. You don't know how many people long for your eyes to be closed forever. As a servant, you should not resist your master. Yet, you went and killed that man anyway. Good for him. No lawyer has the audacity to defend you. Perhaps you ought to represent yourself. Not difficult, but definitely pointless. You're pretty confident on your eloquence. Did you also think that when you lied to the Intelligentsia Guild? Ask and you shall receive. You wanted the perfect construction material. All I did was offer a possibility. I'm trying so hard to, co to focus on the dialogue right now. If your luck holds out, the IPC will dig something up from the golden sands of Ejihazo. Maybe even the Sand King's remains. Pity your her, luck has yeah, her voice sounds really nice. That's the problem. I'll admit that. What I'm more curious about, though, is why such a grand scheme failed to benefit anyone in the end, including the perpetrator himself. Ugh, she! Oh, madam, she. I already have what I want. Period. To be brought before you for the next high-stakes gamble. Then let's talk about the second gamble. Wow. Tell me, what are you prepared to wager this time? My life. 
I bet you won't send me to the gallows. Hm. What do you want, then? I want your Lenore to meet with me. I have something to say. I'm trying to focus, okay? And then what? <laughs> what are they even talking about so far? I, I don't cash. know. <laughs> it can't be that simple, can it? It is that simple. 30 tonbas. The remainder of my... Market value. 30 tonbas. No more, no less. With this money, I'll climb to even greater heights than you. Grasp even more riches than you. <laughs> I wager you won't give me this chance. Which is why you should call him here. Interesting. A pity Diamond won't see you. No one gets to see him. Oh, Diamond is a From man. Here on out, I didn't know that. I am Diamond's representative, and I will decide on his behalf. You're wrong. 30 Tonbus. He'll give you that. And much more than that wealth, status, power. The IPC will give you whatever you want, even what you don't want. Kakavasha. <laughs> A good name, but unfortunately destined to be buried in the dirt. You, though, you deserve to live, to create even more wealth for us. Go, pick the clothes you like. Then choose your desired identity. And then... <laughs> use them well, child. May your plans never suffer failure. Wow. I say a more. Like a long-term investment. Those wow. who choose correctly, do the correct things. That was great. Reach the correct outcomes, and show the world their value. People can't always make the right choices in their lives. But luck has always been on my side. She's gonna be my next five I've star. I've never lost. If she's become playable. Is it because Gaiathra blesses me? Well, if that's the case, she must also be looking upon me right now. My success is inevitable. But... What then? <laughs> Even if I overcome this difficult trial, what would come next? <laughs> what awaits me after this glorious gamble? An even more glorious one? Will I return triumphant with unending riches after countless successes, or never to return? I'm pretty sure you already have some ideas. Mm. Lowly gambler. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> Am I dreaming or? Have I gone completely insane? Perhaps both. Mm hmm? You've forgotten me already? When you were strapped to that electric chair by a mannequin warlords, who was it that gave you the idea? Fine. I may be crazy, but I'm not stupid. Get out of my head, newborn of the Harmony. <laughs> the Harmony? Oh, don't play the fool. It's not the first time we've met. No need to be so polite. I'm you, and perhaps even more aware of yourself than you. 
of what exactly you want. You're dying. And you still want to drag a bunch of unfortunate fools with you through death's door. That's why you're here, isn't it? <laughs> a grand unveiling. You really think you can pull it off? <laughs> Why not? Well, you may have fooled everyone, but you can't fool yourself. I can show you. Before you're entirely gone, I'll be with you for the last stretch of your road. Let's have a heart-to-heart -heart while we walk. Who is that? <laughs> What exactly are you? Most people in this world spend their entire lives just to reach one outcome. And I am that outcome. Kakavasha, I am your future. <laughs> First I'm hearing things, and now I'm seeing them. <laughs> Great. Am I going to be elevated into the Harmony's Emanator next? Careful what you wish for. Just a Papeshi? No. A child? I thought miners weren't allowed in Golden Hour. Hey, kid. You okay? Are you lost? Ah! Uh, uh, uh. What's wrong, mister? <gasps> you don't look well. It's him. <sighs> uh. <laughs> Your... Eyes... Impossible. Who are you? They're pretty, aren't they? Sis said they're a gift from Mama Funga. Colorful eyes are said to bring good luck. Uh, mister... You have pretty eyes, too. Beautiful. Are... Are you alone? Where are your parents? They're in that amusement park. Papa and Mama went in first. I'm just about to go look for them. I have to go. Goodbye, mister. Hope you have a good time, too. Those eyes... And Mama Thunga... No, no, it... It can't... There aren't any Avgens left. Why is he shown all these memories? Or illusion? Papa! Mama! Wait for me! <laughs> only on Panacone, am I right? What are you still doing here? Well, you've known all along. The family truly showed leniency to everyone who came seeking help. Why would there be a need for such high walls and deep moats? However, people don't see it like that. Especially since the flavor of the drink syrup is so alluring. You will receive no charity on Panacone. And relying on your own strength alone to topple high walls? <laughs> Not a likely feat. Which is why, once you step into the hotel, you remove your high hat and beg everyone you come across for help. Like a hyena scavenging for scraps in the desert. Well, when you put it like that, even Ratio's a teeny peacock analogy sounds pleasant. <laughs> well, you know how rare it is for me to give you the straight dope. So listen while you can. It's good timing that you mentioned the doctor. I'm especially fond of what you and he have in common. The conspiracies, calculations. <laughs> especially the part about the finale, a magnificent act of betrayal. <laughs> Oh, and everyone thinks this way. Who would even suspect that it was another trap you've meticulously devised? <laughs> Go on. Tell me I'm right. You know who you really are, Mr. Cavalier Gambler. Uptight, overcautious, 
massive inferiority complex. You want so much, and you're still so. Whoa, massive inferiority complex. He gave it straight to him. They only see your big bets, your bravado, the full house, the straight flush. They don't know the other hand is below the table, clutching your chips for dear life. It's a heck of an act. No wonder the tavern sent you an invite. You're a natural kid. You don't stop at fooling the audience. You fool yourself too. Well, the best way to prevent others from seeing your true colors is first being able to fool yourself. <laughs> of course. I know you all too well. But it's strange. Why did you decline that invitation? You had the chance to embrace elation. Was that not what you most wanted? But you chose the IPC instead. For the preservation. <laughs> I doubt it. Do you even have anything in common with the preservation? Oh, I thought you knew. Didn't you say you had me pegged? War done. Either stop talking or disappear from my sight. <laughs> That's fine. But who exactly is about to disappear here? Well, it's not going to be me anyway. Is it not? Stop with the puzzle, please. Ah, playing hide and seek. I'm really good at this. Catechins were like jackals hot on your heels. I know you won't forget that sound anytime soon. Those shrill cackles. You had to hide right under the noses of those savages. You and Big Sis. <laughs> it wasn't ruined. I've always kept it. Oh, come on. It's a rag. It's not like you can ever wear it. Now you don't have to hide. You probably won't even deign to get your pretty outfit wet in the rain. And your social capital has changed after all. I've never changed. On the contrary, now you're the one who does the hunting. The last round of hide and seek. And... That child... Could he be in here? Win the hide and seek game and find the Avgin boy. Huh. Okay. Is this? A, a topaz? What is this doing here? Merely curious why it was here. Maybe that winged guy put it here. To taunt you. Just to make the cornerstone's hue is the same as the radiance of Clipon's body. <laughs> I've got to give it to you. I've heard a lot of baloney, but that lie deserves a prize for sheer nerve. If he were just a little bit smarter, the jig would have been up. Right there. 
This is just bait. Of course. That's why Ratio's betrayal was one of the keys to your plan. I have to say, that doctor's acting was superb. Or maybe he wasn't acting at all. All the better for you. Sunday didn't become head of the Oak family by acting sloppy. He's obsessed with control. You have to give him enough detail to satisfy his meticulous nature, but not so much that he gets suspicious. Which he is looks why so you menacing. Had seek him out and leak the plan on purpose to prevent the other party from suspecting anything. The intel you gave to Ratio was all true, and he spoke the same to Sunday. Finally, Sunday took the bait found the other cornerstone, and before you know it, everyone's distracted enough for you to steal the third stone right out from under them. I knew it. There is a third stone. <sighs> Why don't you stop rummaging through my mind? Your mind. <laughs> it's our mind. You're me, and I'm you. We're the same. The best way to prevent others from seeing your true colors is to first be able to fool yourself. <laughs> really? You can't even fool yourself. You just got lucky this time. This is the other cornerstone in Sunday's hands. Rather beautiful green. Just like you. Smooth. And cunning. Tell me. What's its name? <laughs> Why are you even asking me? Ah, must I do all the work? Avengerine is the stone of luck and trickery. That's what she said when you received the stone, wasn't it? This type of stone isn't rare, but its hue is very similar to a certain gem. In fact, it's often used as a substitute. And that more precious gem is... Jade. Even Sunday can't tell the difference. Well, looks like Jade can be substituted for a Venturine, too. <laughs> Sauce for the goose. Interesting. A Venturine, Topaz, Jade. Three elites, three cornerstones who, for a measly panic only, offered their everything. Oh. You're even more united than the family. As I've said before, three chips are sufficient. Mm. All or nothing. Yeah. But will it be the former or the latter? <laughs> we'll find out soon enough. So, where's the real adventuring stone? Take it out. Let's have a look. <laughs> Suddenly, you don't know where it is? I just want to hear you say it. After all, it really does resemble its owner. As you wish, then. They never went anywhere. They're right where they belong. Piled up with these cheap baubles. Smashed the Aventurine stone before you left? Oh, just look at it. Shattered. Just like your life. Poor thing. A humble pebble coated in the most lustrous sheen. I take it back. This thing is far more precious than your life. You're absolutely clear about the consequences of doing this. Blasphemy against Klipoth's body. You think the IPC will let you get off scot-free? Well, Diamond has always been all about results. As long as I could create value far beyond the cost, the ends justify the means. How else would the family be fooled if there was no price to pay? It doesn't matter. Even smashed to smithereens, the preservation's cornerstone can still be used. Its effect may be greatly diminished, but it's enough for me. Now I'm really curious. 
Why does every step you take involve reckless risks and the choices you prepare for yourself always come with a strong impulse for self-destruction? Yeah. He's like he low-key, high-key, destroying himself for something. I wouldn't have guessed you'd be so loyal to the IPC. <laughs> there is so much you don't see. Which is also why you'll never see how I'll win it all. That is, if you can do what it takes. We'll just have to wait and see then. Ugh, the cornerstone is gone. Another illusion of the harmony. Huh? Hello. We meet again, Mr. Pretty Eyes. Yes. We meet again. Did you find your mother and father? Of course. Big Sis is there, too. The four of us were just playing hide and seek. I'm so happy. On our way here, Papa even brought me to see a flim. Flim? <laughs> Feel him. I think you mean Phil. Yes, that's it. Putting many drawings together and turning them into a moving wall painting. They put me, Papa, Mama, and Big Sis together, turning us into one big family. You should give it a try too, mister. You look sad. <laughs> I'm sure. Aww. Oh god, what is this? <sighs> All these puzzles are taking me out of the quest. Please, no more games. <laughs> How's that? Not a bad score, eh? <sighs> Boring. Catch up with the young Avgin baby boy. Talking. You've piqued my interest. I'll admit that there are still aspects of you that I don't completely understand. Well, you sound sincere this time, at least. Well, sincerity is one of my traits that everybody likes. And I have precious few of those. Moving on. See that maze over there? <laughs> I'll know everything about you before you reach the exit. Our quaint journey through this amusement park still isn't over. Gosh, can they stop with the puzzle, please? A dead end? Oh. <laughs> it, it no. Is this. No. Well, what's on your mind? It's 
got nothing to do with you. Do you need a hand? These are manacles on you. You wrapped that iron chain around your fist, for that is the only tool you could find. <gasps> then, in that maze, you... Shut up. Oh, you don't wish to face your past. Unwilling to admit that your life is worth only 60 tonnes. Yikes. Well, from what I see, you refuse to confront it, because it only proves your weakness. How could a weak person take such daring risks? Oh, that's right. You love the thrill of danger. But you refuse to let go of meaningless sentiments. Even in this beautiful dream, the only thing you dare allow yourself is death. In your hands, those who follow you could have become Joker cards. <laughs> They're far more useful that way. It's not like this is the only place the family ever cut corners. You could have had tons of action if you weren't so all or nothing. All it takes is a meager sacrifice. I bet Opal would have resolved this without a fuss. A pity you're not him. Well, you wouldn't be in this state if you could just get with the program. <laughs> Those techniques you mentioned are highly efficient, but it's not that I don't know about them. It's more like I couldn't care less. Get it? What fun is it if the fight isn't fair? <laughs> you assume your opponents would fight fair in the first place. <laughs> not even adventuring himself likes adventuring. obviously <laughs> not in your favor, so how are you just breezing by? But did that masked fool's words awaken something in you? Well, she gave me an answer that could turn everything upside down. <laughs> everything? You mean, it could make all the cards on the table just... disappear? <laughs> That's cheating. If these leaves could be brought back, would they bloom into new flowers? Where's the exit? This is this one? This is where I came from. Hmm. Where are we leaving? This way. That way? could have lived a normal life like Big Sis that way. Looking back, that was the better choice. Mama only left us with two pieces of jewelry. A necklace and a lucky charm. Uh, that's what you always say, but you actually regret it, don't you? That you didn't sell them. You can zip it if there's nothing to talk about. <laughs> <laughs> I know. You must remember what Big Sis told you. You are a child blessed by Gyathra Triclops and can lead the clan to happiness. The words still ring in your ears, don't they? You're a good kid, so you definitely won't have forgotten. So, you surely won't forget how tragic her last moments of life were. How the piercing laughter behind you felt like it was drilling into your heart. Tisk, tisk. A lifelong regret, indeed. Enough! Do you not have anything better to talk about? Oh, shut me down like a champ! Well, I guess when it comes to my... This projection of adventuring is even more annoying than the usual adventuring. <laughs> not gonna lie. I think I finally get you. <laughs> Woo! You are nuts! In the end, I'll ruin this beautiful dream and create the grandest death. 
Well, you stuck to that start to finish. Think about it. There's a Stellaron in play. The fabulous Robin loses her voice. Two unsolved murders. Cryptic messages from a masked fool. And a chance to go head to head with Sunday himself. The only thing to pique your interest is one word. The last word. A word that's right there at your fingertips. Death. But whose exactly? We'll know when the dice falls. <laughs> All right then. Reserve a seat for me in the audience. I'm curious to see just how capable you are. Still, you never answered my question. If you could start over, would you still want to be the child who received Gaiathra's blessing? <sighs> So quiet this time. Is he finally gone? Or am I the one about to disappear? No oh, chest. <sighs> finally made it out of this place. We're going home? But I don't want to go back yet. Oh my god. These puzzles would be the death of me. No. <laughs> okay. What? Oh. Mister, is that you? I I'm so sick of all this. Shoes. <laughs> <laughs> ah, it really is you. Green force, the gleam of old blades. Nice. Mister, but you always give me a special feeling that makes me more curious about you. It's sad that I can't get to know you more. We have to say goodbye. Mm. You're going back? Yes, I should go home. The day's getting dark, and it's going to rain. I don't want to worry the others. Your home. Where is it? What a strange question. It's where Papa, Mama, and Big Sis are. In this dream. 
This amusement park, this beautiful dream. They really are peaceful. Everyone loves it. But, mister, why don't you like it? <laughs> because they're not here. Where are they then? They're dead. I'm tired too. We all are. Which is why we chose to stay here. Me and him. Your past and future. How long will you stay? Tiny bit care about eventually. Your luck will help you at the right time. Stellaron and an emanator. It's that simple now. That way, the IBC will earn a place at the table. And as for you, you'll just happen to slip the leash, sweep the rat race, extract yourself from this endless debacle. You'll have the freedom you've always dreamed of. <laughs> this isn't the first time. You've been an escape artist from day one. This fiasco started with a death and its curtains will fall on another death. <laughs> oh. So that's why Diamond chose you. He's just after Panacone. No matter the means, no matter the price. It's not personal. It's hard, isn't it? Well, don't get soft on me now. <laughs> what, did you suddenly grow a conscience? Why, I was born from yourself. I'm well aware that climbing out of the hole you've dug is basically impossible. I can't stop you from doing what you want. We can't change where you want to go. Well, what's done can't be undone. All we can do is play the cards we're dealt and rake in as much time as possible. Yes. Alas, people won't make all the right choices in their lifetime. Though luck always seems like it's on your side. You will keep winning, having never lost before, but why you? Why must it be you? If 
all your luck is built on the pain of someone you love, on the loss of dozens more. If these windfalls, these jackpots, aren't a gift from Gyanthra, if all they are is a long string of meaningless deaths, then what did we do to deserve living in a world like that? Mm. <sighs> well, maybe... Maybe when I get to where I'm going and look back, I'll know what the trip was all about. photo for me. I want a memento. Sure. Come on. <laughs> How nice. Now I can see what I look like too. Look at the lens when you're taking a photo the next time. Your expression will look more natural. Sure, I will. Then, mister, are you going back too? I can't leave yet. I still have a show to do. Oh, let's go then. I'll take you to the stage. <laughs> sure. So you're an actor. No wonder your clothes are so stylish. <laughs> I'm actually a merchant, but I do have a show to do. Are you the same as those men in black in the sky? But you're not wearing black. Where is it? Oh. Only ordinary employees have to wear that. My position is much higher than theirs. <laughs> Awesome. I don't know if you guys watched my pre-2.1 analysis video, but in that video <laughs> I said that eventually might of die course you can. in this 2.1 quest. You'll be better and like, stronger than me. If that is true, then that will be the first time that I don't enjoy being correct. They kind of... They make me somewhat care about him because of this adventure and POV part of the quest. It's a death in the dream, though. Behind this curtain is the grand stage. It's almost time to go on stage. Are you ready? Good luck with your show. <sighs> Thank you. <laughs> You still seem pretty nervous. Let's put our palms together. If you receive Gayathra's blessing, you'll feel more relaxed. Putting our palms together is a simple ritual. By putting our palms together and reciting the prayer to Mama Funga, she will bless us. If you're not familiar, I can guide you. <sighs> it's all right. I know how to do it. Of course I know. When he's not talking all big and everything, trying to hide his true self, he's likable. This is where we go our own way, Kakavasha. The 
catechins are coming. Why? The catechins have already taken all our money, food, and they killed our parents. What more do they want? Catechins are bloodthirsty, cruel, and insatiably greedy. They want everything only to end up with nothing. This is a trick, an act of revenge, remember? Today is the day of the Kakava, and also your birthday. They know the Avjin will surely hold a festival today. With the aid of this rain, they will come to destroy our wagons and take everything they want. Little do the Catechins know, this time we will fight back. The men in black that descend from the skies are on our side. The Catechins stand no chance against them and will surely pay for their arrogance. Without this rain, the Catechins would never take action, and we would not have the chance to turn the tide. This is a gift from Gayathra, and you are Kakavasha, whose good fortune will bless your sister with success. But... but people will die, and you will be in danger. How is that good fortune? The Avjin always return their blood debts. Gayathra calls for me, while Papa and Mama are waiting for me. I must answer the call. But she will be with good fortune. They're telling him that he has survive. good luck and everything, but everybody dies in his stead. As long as you are alive. The good luck with the prize of everybody else's life, that's run dry. Not really good luck so when run, you think about Kakavasha. it. Do not be afraid. And do not look back. Go to the other side of the mountain. The rain will accompany you. And the rain will bless you. As for us, we will reunite in Kakava's next aurora. May the goddess Gayathra close Damn. her eyes three times. Keep your blood eternally pulsing. Let your journey be forever peaceful. And your schemes forever concealed. Farewell, Kakavasha. Newsflash from the Inter-Astral Peace broadcast. The IPC Marketing Development Department spokesperson confirms that a small-scale rebellion has broken out in the unclaimed region of Sigonia. The insurgents are from a local clan known as Kataka, which has a long history of disdain towards the IPC. This has caused a serious negative impact to the work of the IPC's Marketing Development Department. The clan launched a massive attack on the Avgen, who were under the protection of the IPC, resulting in 6,728 deaths and 3,452 missing. The casualties are currently under the care of the frontline trauma team. The spokesperson expresses his deepest condolences for this devastating humanitarian disaster. At the same time, delivering an important this message guy's voice on this sounds like Wells to VA's all interplanetary voice. citizens. Finally, he proclaims, the hammer of preservation will fall on all beings, regardless of life or death, regardless of race, regardless of ideology to uphold the basic rights we inherently possess. Oh... Kakavasha? I see, that's what happened. <laughs> Bye. are in place. It's time for the show to begin. This act is dedicated to you. I hope it'll be an unforgettable memory for you. Kakavisha. I thought he was breaking the, way, the fourth wall before you go, for a second. I have a personal question. You... Do you truly want to destroy the world with your own hands? <sighs> Let's assume 
Just assuming now, that every time I roll the dice, there's a possibility of achieving this particular outcome, then I would be quite happy to make that wager. Hmm. I'm too far invested to stop now. I thought I was just gonna do this quest for three hours, but it's been four hours. Yeah, right? It's, it's a little bit more. It's close to like five hours combined is with yesterday. Is this <gasps> Hello, I'm Himigo, the Astral Express's navigator. Hello, I'm March 7th. I'm sure she needs no introduction, as you definitely know her. <laughs> I still deserve a proper intro. Hello? None of you seem surprised by my arrival. Since Welt has decided to travel with you, it means that he trusts you, and we trust his judgment. <laughs> I envy your close friendships. Join us on the Astral Express! Miss Acheron here doesn't present a danger, and she's of no threat to the Astral Express. Aventurine's prior accusation was based on nothing more than his own subjectivity. Which is why, before we continue working together, he has a duty to explain The way Aventurine tried to pit us against each other and then we ended up working together with Akron. A situation where all three parties are present? There must be some deeper meaning behind Aventurine's actions. I suspect he's been aware of Penacone's secret from the beginning and has been continuously strategizing to unveil it. In that sense, the Astral Express's role in his plans would be imperative. In the worst case scenario, he may use us to do something unexpected. Assuming things do escalate to that stage, having an extra ally is a good insurance policy. Penacone has numerous factions, and the state of affairs is significantly more intricate than that of Bellabog Ekor and Xianzhou. is just standing Zhou. there looking handsome and everything. I'm the bone of my bed. Stellaron is my body. Trailblaze is my blood. Oh my god, no. She also makes a good point. We're completely in the dark on what's going to happen next. But I think we can't just ignore the safety of Penacone. To solve the mystery of the Watchmaker, it is crucial to get the IPC's intel. The path ahead is fraught with danger. But what's trailblazing without a little danger? Sounds like we've reached a consensus. Now, uh, Miss Acheron? I will accompany you, of course. Let's move out then! But where do we start looking for him? No need to rush. If he truly has laid a trap, he will definitely use every means to lure us in. Ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> That's the trap right there. The most wondrous. Loud and clear. Magnificent show in Penacone's history is about to begin. The IPC cordially invites everyone to Clock Studios Theme Park. <laughs> Look, should both the performers and spectators fail to arrive, won't all of Aventurine's plans be for nothing? Let's get going, everyone. The hour of trailblazing is upon us. What's that achievement? Huh? Where will good fortune lead gamblers witness the life of Kakavasha? Hmm. Let's talk to them. We just talk to them to one solve one? the mystery of the watchmaker. It is crucial to get the IPC's intel. 
The path ahead is fraught with danger. But what's trailblazing without a little danger? Oh, too close. Oh. Nice. Let's get going, everyone. The hour of trailblazing is upon us. I envy your close friendships. That's it. Oh, I have a bad feeling that something big's gonna go down. Uh, are you ready? Let's go. Let's waste no time and head to the theme park then. Let's go. The big cutscene. Mystery is Aang. coming up. Why did you not tell your companions about my true identity? It's just like you said, uh, an inability rather than an unwillingness. Plus, it's a long story, not something that can be summed up in a few words. Oh. But I chose to believe you, and my trust in you stems more from my own personal judgment. I also believe that, if it were their choice to make, they would make the same one. Thank you. I'm grateful. To reciprocate. In the upcoming confrontation, if the odds aren't in the Astral Express's favor, I will stand with you, if my meager strength is required. Do you think how many times Weld, you know, caught himself before he blurred out May <laughs> when he was talking to Akron? Mm -hmm. Yeah, this thing is good. March and Nat. Ah, that's okay. I'll bring Kafka. We're back here again. Adventuring actually chose a really conspicuous location. Oh, that guy's really taking it to a whole new level. Does he really think he's a superstar or something? Not At this a point, in sight. I guess he is. The hounds drove out the visitors, and now their whereabouts are unknown too. We'll bring AOE. Everyone, pay attention. The other party has obviously come prepared. Ladies, oh God, surprise me. Dream seekers, tycoons, esteemed guests of the watchmaker and the family. Let's go. Astral Express, you're late. He prepared the and big screen and everything. Unsung guest. We've kept your appointment, Mr. Aventurine. It is customary to show yourself as well. Oh, Himiko is so pretty. Well, I will, naturally. But before that, I've got to introduce our guest of honor. Everyone, give it up. For Miss Devaron! <laughs> Mommy, look, I'm on TV! Uh, uh. <laughs> Let me remind you that in all likelihood, this stage and her identity have nothing to do with the wanted murderer. Oh no, they do. <laughs> of course they do. Otherwise, why would I work so hard to gain your trust and then invite you all here? Because she's the only one who saw all three homicides. She is the key to proving that the family's death and does not exist in Dream's promise. Three? Is nothing but a sham! Three? Three homicides? That's right, madam. The third one is about to happen right now, right here, in Clock Studios Theme Park. 
A truly grand death. You, 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 and you. All of you are going to die. And it's all because of you, Miss Stellaron. You will become the personification of death. What are you on about? <laughs> I thought my intent was crystal clear. <laughs> the opera quote. Let me be a little clearer. I will detonate the Stellaron in you and cause a teeny tiny accident on Panicoe. Oh, bold. Bam! The entire theme park will be reduced to a shattered dream. Then before the family can even react, I'll become the IPC fleet's navigator. Your bluff isn't fooling anyone. If you could really do that, you would have done so earlier. You wanna bet? <laughs> sure, I'll bet with you. I'm betting that it'll be a sweeping victory for me. By detonating an unprecedented explosion to prove that the vow of harmony is a complete and utter joke. You won't do it. Of course I can. It's just another gamble. Yeah, you can, but you won't. I came from the wastelands of Sagonia. For just 60 red copper coins, people paid to brand me. Put me in chains, place me in the gallows, and bury me in the golden sands. But the sun could not kill me. So it is the and big the villain speech, isn't back it? To the embrace of the guild and the IPC. Bear in mind, my victory wasn't just a stroke of luck. No, I've never been defeated. Have you ever heard the saying, sleep is the rehearsal of death? Why do the living sleep? Oh, because we are not ready for the final rest. Every oh. night is practice for the end. You and I are escaping into our dreams for fear of death at this very moment. And death will surface in our dreams. Friends, the game has commenced, and you cannot choose to decline. Nor do you have any reason or grounds to! Dice are cast. Ladies and gentlemen, ready to unveil your cards. The architect's flawed stone. <laughs> of no value at all. I'm putting down the bet. I'm taking the gamble. I'm claiming the win. Oh, and fate's been the wheel. A daring gamble. Walking the brink of death for rebirth. Oh. For the Emperor Lord! That's some sick music. Alright. Let's see who has the last laugh. Let the game what did begin. What did the dev set? A friendly match? Of Watch course it wouldn't be. Do for telling. Friendly match, my ass. Ill fate descends. Oh, the music well is all. sick. <laughs> Good times. Time to say bye. Boom. Another journey begins. On the still waters of oblivion. I weep for the departed. <laughs> It too shall fall. Now relax. Again, how? All or nothing. What is that? Wow, the music.
What the f- <laughs> What do you mean? She just died like that? Free will, or was it fate? Destined for oblivion. That'll take more than medicine. Oh, ew, you to attack both of the dice? Is that what? <laughs> Stand still. Uh, I didn't know that. <laughs> Justin, just a little something. That's Think fine. Of it. That's Don't fine. Worry. It's just a scream. For some <laughs> Bigger number than him? What's his number? The less dice you can hit, the less chance you will win. Oh. I weep for the departed. Instruction unclear. <laughs> That's okay. We're just enjoying the music right now. Nap time. Relax. Oh, that's her. What if I just skip and not and like that's let better. the next person do it? You're too good to me. Oh, say bye to breathing. That's what happens. Got it. Good times, never time to say bye. Boom. Destined for oblivion. Oh my God, they're gonna die. <laughs> That'll take more than medicine. Hmm. Don't worry, it's just a scrape. Justin, just a little something. Think it's not a scrape, Akron. You were about Don't to worry. die. It's just a scrape. Stand still. I weep for the departed. It too shall fall. Prepare for some That's hurts. better. Say bye to breathing. Naughty child. <laughs> Even on a losing streak, as long as people still have hope, they'll keep throwing money on the table. The chance how the potential is what you hang on to. Can they survive this? What justifies oh my god, why is it always Nat? <laughs> no! Oh my god. Nap time. Relax. Free will or was no, it? No, it's still going, okay. Destined for oblivion. Say bye to breathing. Oh I weep for the departed. Maybe there's still hope. It too shall fall. No. It's doing nothing. It's all or nothing! My g no. <laughs> May as well kill them all. Eh. <sighs> I weep for the departed. Okay. Alright. It too shall fall. Good times. Time to say bye. Boom. On the still waters of oblivion. Prepare for some this Okay. Okay. Well, Akron and Akron being the last person standing is Laura Akron. <laughs> What does it mean? Battle sync failed? The game freeze. Uh oh. What does it mean? Oh my god, the game is not responding. <laughs> it 
You guys, the game crashed. It crashed. <laughs> Wait. Hold up. Is this is wow? What's actually happened? <clears throat> Give me one moment. Wow, that's that's the first time Star Rail crashed. What happened there? What happened? And there's the new download. AOE? But what am I gonna do with AOE if it's always Nat's <laughs> turn to hit the dice? is working really hard right now not to crash again. But if I heal Nat, then wouldn't the turn end for, you know, bringing for the dice? You didn't even bring healer. Wow. That's crazy. I, I, I healed. Oh, start from here again. But I, I did not skill instead of hitting the dice and then they attack. Not. Astral Express. Oh, skip. <laughs> the dice are cast. I'm not going to skip this part because the music Ladies is great. And Ready to unveil your cards. The architect's flawed stone. <laughs> of no value at all. I'm putting down the bet. I'm taking the gamble. I'm claiming the win. Oh, and fate's been the wheel. A daring gamble. Walking the brink of death. For rebirth. Oh. For the Emperor Lord. Ah, you heal Nat so then she can take All the hit. Right. Makes sense. Let's see who has the last laugh. Wait. Oh, my Let's team is still the same. Oh. Such an elusive foretelling. Should I change team first? Ill fate to say. <laughs> Time to say bye. Boom. You've got it. I'm still waters of oblivion. I weep for the departed. It too shall fall. Time for a shot. Maybe it's doable. <laughs> Stand still. All or nothing. Oh no. What do you want to know? <laughs> just, a, just a little something. Think nothing of it. Destiny's hand has truly Good time. blessed me. Time to say bye. Right Boom. <laughs> Relax. Another journey begins. Destined for oblivion. <laughs> That'll take my week for the departed. <laughs> it too shall fall. Destiny is up. Stand still. <laughs> that hurts. Still waters of oblivion. Naughty child. <laughs> Destiny's hand has truly blessed me. Hold on. <laughs> hmm. 
Captain all I take everything I've got. Damn it. That's better. Destiny's hand has truly blessed me. <laughs> Relax. Free will, or I weep for the departed. It too shall fall. Destined for oblivion. Maybe it's still doable. <laughs> Prepare for some. Hey! Uh? Stand still. Another journey begins on the still waters of oblivion. <laughs> Why is Nat still... Nat, wake up, Nat! As long as okay. still have hope, they'll keep throwing money on the uh. table. The chance, how small, the potential is what you hang on to. That's what justifies the kill. What is he yapping about? What do you want to know? Memories are beneath the waters lies an endless abyss. Relax. I weep for the departed. It too shall fall. Well That hurts. Free will, or was it fate? Nice, nice. Maybe it's doable. To skill point. Destined for oblivion. Oh god. <laughs> nice. Naughty child. Oh no. <laughs> oh my god. Stand still. Oh, oh! Destiny isn't chosen. Ill tidings manifest. Okay, okay. No. It's all or nothing. No, no, please, no! Don't kill them. That's all right. That's right. We still have Nat. It too shall fall. Good times. No. Time to say bye. Boom. You've got a keen eye. <laughs> That's half the work. Huh. Relax. Not wake up. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. That's better. Thank you. Oh my god. Please heal. 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 Let's stop it first. Is all of them again? Ugh. Time to move. Okay, I got to wait. I'm thinking. Another journey begins. Oh my god, I hate it. Stand still. Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah, that's that's Time for a shot. that can be done. <laughs> heal. Heal. Nat, heal yourself. All will eventually rest of you. All in. Good times. No time to say bye. Boom. Oh no. <laughs> Nah, yeah. please don't die. Stop, stop. Okay, if I do this Kafka, then we'll attack it. Then I'll have two skill points. <laughs> Relax. Please? Oh, shh. <laughs> oh, Just when did Akron die? Think nothing of it. I didn't see that. Thanks. You're too good to me. Wow. Uh, it's all or nothing. Good time. Don't kill me. Time to say bye. Boom. Double stop, stop it. Prepare for some. Ah. No. 
Fifteen percent. He was at fifteen percent HP. He was at fifteen percent HP. <sighs> okay, Black Swan is useless. <laughs> Huh? Ew, E. This haven of memories. Oh, I have a bad feeling that. Let's go. Let's waste no. Who should I bring then? Where are they dying? Wait. Hold on, where are they dying? Wait. Who should I bring? Uh, I don't know if my fire MC is she good? Oh, yeah. Oh, I have a. Let's waste no. Okay then, let's change... Mm. We're back here again! Adventuring actually chose a really conspicuous location. Oh, that guy's a real oh, skip. Ladies, gentlemen, dream seekers, tycoons. I cannot sprint. What's happening? Change to Bailu for healing. Mm, I'm not sure about my Bailu. Astral Express. Uh, this is run my weekly boss all over again. All right. Let's see who has the last laugh. How many hours Let will I be stuck begin. here? Such an elusive foretelling. Ill fate to say. Another journey begins. Destined for oblivion. I'm on guard. <laughs> Nap time. At least the music is good. All or nothing. No, I just did my Lance skill. Lance, oh, that's fine. Where's the save? Nice. What do you want to know? I weep for the departed. Oh, Kuna. Yesterday you only had MC left. It too shall fall. Uh? Free will, or was it fate? On the still waters of oblivion. Maybe this team can survive. <laughs> Stop! <laughs> that hurts! Oblivion. Naughty child. Nap time. 
Suffering I can. Take everything I've got. Four is easy. Uh. I weep for the departed. It too shall fall. Still waters of oblivion. <laughs> That'll take more than. Final play coming down from will find you. Ill fate descends. Another journey begins. Destined for oblivion. Time for a shot. <laughs> Don't worry. It's just a scrape. Going all, <laughs> all or nothing. Uh oh. On the still waters of oblivion. Oh, it's just her. Okay. Lance at the ready. Um. I weep for the departed. <sighs> it too shall fall. That's better. Destiny's Free will hand or was has it truly fate? blessed me. <laughs> Justin, just a little something. Think nothing of it. Nice teamwork. Destined for oblivion. What do you want to know? Uh? Take <laughs> everything I've got. Okay, and I should be fine. <laughs> Oh, at least his number is four. The RNG to his number two is. Still waters of a uh, stressing me out. down from above. You've got a keen eye. Destined for oblivion. Destiny isn't chosen. I weep for the departed. It too shall fall. Uh, that'll take nap time. Not a scratch. <laughs> Prepare for some uh, That hurt. <laughs> <laughs> Another journey begins on the still waters of oblivion. Time for a shot. <laughs> I'm okay. All or nothing. Destined for oblivion. No way. Time to bow out. Ill tidings manifest. I'm on guard. You've got to keep. His number change. <laughs> Don't worry. It's just a scrape. No, you were dying, Akron. It's not a scrape. <laughs> what do you want to know? I weep for the departed. <laughs> It too shall fall. <laughs> Ill fate to say. Even on a losing streak. Oh, as long you. as people still have hope, they'll keep throwing money on the table. The chance, no matter how small, the potential is what you hang on to. That's what justifies the gamble. Lance at the ready. I know, right? This music is great. Prepare for some. Sorry, my character's damage is low. That was only the first round, okay? <laughs> Ill tidings manifest. Okay. Okay. Wait. No. Hold on. Oh, not inside. for oblivion. Lost cost. I'm on guard. Time for a shot. I'm sorry, Ned. You just have to <laughs> tank. It's all or nothing. She's fine. She's fine. Double down. Stop! Stop it! Stop it! I weep for the departed. <laughs> it too shall fall. 
Ill fate descend. Free will or what? Memories it are ever beneath the waters lies an endless abyss. Mm. Maybe I should wait. Destiny isn't chosen. <laughs> Justin, just a little something. Think nothing of it. Destiny's hand has truly blessed me. True, I should have saved her manifest. out. Another journey begins. Oh no. <laughs> One. <laughs> ah! Can she Lance do it? Ablaze. Can she add Lance for me? Okay. It's all or nothing. The lucky duo. That'll be fine. Okay. That'll be fine, right? Showing <laughs> all in. Yeah. <laughs> Lance Ablaze. Lance Forward. This is getting both worse. <laughs> It is, yeah. It's worse than pulling on Icon's banner. What? Free will, or was it fate? Hold on. Oh, it's all of them again. For oblivion. Okay. Mmm. Um, don't worry, what do you want it's to just know? a scrape. Ill fate Maybe you were said. dying. <laughs> okay. It was just net? Yeah. It's all or nothing! Not my <laughs> God, that hurts. I weep for the departed. <laughs> it too shall fall. This takes longer than exploring. Uh, exploring whatever that we were exploring with Aventurin earlier. Lance at the ready. <laughs> Nat, wake up! Time for a shot. That's better. <laughs> Ill tidings manifest. Still waters of oblivion. Okay, she's fine. Do I need to heal first? Maybe I'll heal first. <laughs> Justin, just a little something. Think nothing of it. Nice teamwork. <laughs> okay. You've got it. It's all or nothing! Nina is just suffering by herself. <laughs> She's okay. carrying this whole team. Not as <laughs> what do you want to know? I weep for the departed. <sighs> it too shall fall. <laughs> That's half the work. Wait, he's gonna come back. Free will, or was it fate? Destined for oblivion. I'm on guard. Wait. How did Akor manage to lose? <laughs> Naughty child. Nap time. It's all or nothing! <sighs> <laughs> Lance ablaze! Lance forward! Uh. Lance at the ready. Uh. 
down. Wow. There's no end to this. Still waters of oblivion. Okay. Time for a shot. Ned is probably wondering why am I here just to suffer. I'm sorry, Ned. Don't worry, it's just a scrape. Ill tidings manifest. Oh. Okay, we'll just do this. It's all or nothing. I'm okay. Destiny isn't chosen. I weep for the departed. The way the music is like subdued when we're in Akron's domain. It too shall fall. It's kinda crazy. <laughs> Another journey begins. Huh. Prepare for some <laughs> Never Okay. Hmm. Don't worry. What do you want it's to just know? a scrape. Ill fate descends. Nice. Akron, please. Destined for oblivion. My god, how did you It's all or nothing? How did you manage to lose again? <sighs> I'm okay. The uh, I'm on guard. Ah, this is wait. Okay. I can't please. You cannot lose again. Still waters of oblivion. Okay. Naughty child. That's better. Destiny isn't chosen. Just, just a little something. Think nothing of it. Destiny's hand has truly blessed me. Ill tidings manifest. Nice. Lance at the ready. It's all or nothing. I'm okay. Okay, okay, okay. I weep for the departed. It A bit more. Seven percent. <laughs> Free will, or was it fate? Huh. I'm on guard. Mm. <laughs> Prepare for some. <laughs> Do we have two? Oh, Black Swan doesn't have. That's no fine. Time. It's only four percent. Ill fate descends. Another journey begins. Destined for oblivion. We got this. Lance at the red. I'm sorry, Nat. Minded to die. It's all or nothing. She's still alive. Look at her. Look at her. I weep for the departed. Watch. It too shall fall. See you next time. Like Down to the last player. So why can't I be happy too? Why can't I feel that free? Always hide your ace with a straight face. I'm starting to get a little impatient with you all. <laughs> Friends, to fully relish this, I'm betting every last chip. Only by casting aside reason does one truly gamble. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Oh my god. Eminator. I know you'll match my wager, right? Yo. 
Yo. Yo. You're leaving? <laughs> Perhaps. I might pass through the place you mentioned. Pinnacone. What do you hope to find within a dream? I'm not looking for anything. They aren't in a dream. Hmm. I'm afraid the family will not open the doors for you. Why? Because the path you walk is not accepted by the Harmony. Even if... Mm. That's not what I want. Precisely because it's not what you want. Because they are not like other Eons. They have never glanced at anyone. And they never need to. They leave woven strands of fate for humans to walk. And together, they weave a great shadow. And this shadow silently envelops them. There are always those who rise from the shadows. Mm. They mostly become a part of the shadow. In your eyes, am I the same? You still have a strand of color. But not much. <sighs> that is enough. Before they vanish completely, I will reach the nihility's end. to mourn the departed, weeping like rain, to swell the crossing stream. As the tide arrives, leading you back home. Oh my god, look at her. Wow. <coughs> wow, I choke. <laughs> After seeing the cut in this place. Uh, a gigantic black hole. Oh shit. And see. Uh, have I have I succeeded? She replied, I want to die? What? Yeah, it's the music for her Welcome trailer. To this sad world. Yeah, exactly, the plane of Euthymia. So true. Your good luck is the most precious wealth we... All Avgen have. God damn that cutscene. You cut came scene. out alive after two days. It proves that you are the real deal. The way Akron was like Wealth, holding back. Status. Power. Because the she knew that one slash from her sword would first. end everything. We wow. will reunite in Kakava's next Aurora. God damn. It's a pity this is not the place you were expecting. <gasps> no. 
hostility, is it? <sighs> Perhaps to you, I am just an emanator who's hiding her identity. But the sleeping and shapeless never glance at anyone. They have no face, no form, and even less of a will to speak. The nihility envelops everyone equally. Only some who have gone under their shadow can go farther, tainting themselves with more nihility. That's all. <laughs> That's all. My friend, you really leave me at a loss for words. So... Is this my final destination? The land of the dead? This is all but a fleeting dream, one of the thousands of manifestations of IX. Under the watchful eye of Nihility, we momentarily linger here before moving on to our own paths. <laughs> it seems that my death has already been determined. Even if you wish for it, I can't promise you anything. Now that you've accomplished your goal, I think you can be a little more forthcoming. <laughs> what do you mean? Your performance at the theme park was wonderful and grandiose. A simple yet practical technique that fooled almost everyone. No one would have ever thought that you would have gone to such lengths. Even staking your life just to prove a fact that had seemingly been disproved long ago. Real death does not exist in Penacone's dreamscape. <laughs> Why would I do this? Because this is the only way you can uncover a secret that is even more unspeakable than the serial murders. To use <clears throat> this dream death to get there. To that promised land people constantly seek in this grand gathering. Penacone. The legacy of the Watchmaker. The true land of exile. <sighs> How did you find out? I never imagined that something I learned about unexpectedly would become the key to connecting everything. It's our Stellaron friend's identity, isn't it? I see you're in the know. Let's just say I'd put money on the possibility. The murder isn't nearly enough to disrupt business as usual. Even if there were one or two murders on Penacone, most people wouldn't be personally affected. And that won't create any waves. This dream of theirs isn't a boundless sea. It's a lonely island. The family used the Harmony to build a high wall and isolate them from the vast and treacherous ocean of the outside world. That barrier they build keeps death out. But it also keeps the secrets that are lost in that watery abyss from floating to the surface. In a beautiful dream, free of suffering. Who would want to go fishing for those secrets? No one. Unless... Unless someone goes to the other side of the barrier. And lives to tell the tale. Someone already has. I got the idea early on, chewing on that masked fool's little hint. If a mute isn't someone who cannot make a sound, then it has to be someone who cannot speak. Someone who survived the treacherous depths, but is unable to take the stage and speak the truth. <coughs> Well, I'm happy to know she's safe and sound, and still on Penacone. Hint. Is that not proof? Well, proof is the one thing I don't have. The only thing that can prove these... conjectures... is for the family to come clean. And with the way they buttered up these outsiders, it seems pretty clear they're intent on covering their tracks. But you don't need proof to have a suspicion. And for me, suspicion is enough. I didn't need to find the memory zone meme. 
I just needed for someone to kill me like it killed that silver-haired girl. You don't sound very confident to me. Going out of your way to make citywide broadcasts in an attempt to involve more people. <laughs> you are simply betting on the possibility of someone being <clears throat> able to break down the barrier. Hmm. You're very lucky that fate has decided to let us cross paths. I happen to be equipped with a very sharp blade. Sharp enough to slice through the veil of dreams. I can also carve the Harmony's brand off of you. Wow. You possess great cunning. This is so powerful. Deliberately setting us up to be on opposing sides. Constantly repeating the words of the Emanator in front of others. Leaving me no choice but to draw my blade against you. And that's how you win. Opportunity and strategy. Both are essential. And in your plans, the IPC always wins. Even if you lose the bet. To the family, the life of an ambassador is still invaluable. Well, it's a huge gamble, isn't it? But allow me to point out a mistake. The IPC's success is not guaranteed. I, unfortunately, have no contingencies for such an important matter. Yeah, I think, I think so wrong. too. Like, she's I as powerful as the an Archon in The is too broken to even safeguard my escape from the stage. Hang on a second, Avenger, and we're talking. Like, because... What is it? I was trying to make the connection the other day, but I lost my point. But like, because they were making the reference to Honkai Impact with the 12 blades forged in Izumo, right? whereby the 12 blades equals to the Hershers in Honkai Impact. But even then, there's a higher power. And then like there's Genshin, because all the Hersh some of the Hershers, they have like their variants in Genshin and they are the Archons. And then Akron is one of the wielders of the blades. So, you know. A, B, B, C, A, C, so she is equal power with Archons. Yeah, I think so. So that's, that's, uh, so it's funny when people are asking the question, who will win a f in a fight? Eon versus Archons. <laughs> because that's silly. Eon is like, even a higher being than an Archon? Obviously Archons cannot win. Oh, hi baby. It's all, it's all right. You were just interrupting right when the cutscene was happening in the beginning. <laughs> That's so funny. But you're fine. Okay, Aventurin, where were we? Detonating a Stellar and he cannot do it, of course. He's really... I've been having this, like... Feeling about him, like he really just... All his life he has... People been saying that he has good luck and all that, right? But it's really the people around him, people who cared about him, who sacrificed themselves for him. And that's how he survived all those tragedies, tragedies in the past. But now he's like, nobody, he got nobody else's in his life beside himself. So he's now gambling on his life. Thinking that his good luck will save him anyway. And that's kind of like, that's high key just, uh, he is, yeah, you know what I mean? If, at the end of the day, you did not unsheath your blade, I would have lost the bet. It is pointless to discuss what-ifs. You have won. Your prize is an entry ticket into that deep sea. And after this, whether you can return from the abyss is another gamble of yours. Have you never wavered? Wavered? <laughs> 
course I have. But I can only bank on my own good fortune. Because other than that, I have nothing. Wake up from this dream and go to where you should be. Your gamble is not over yet. Hmm. <laughs> Before we part, can you answer one more question? As someone who has traveled on that road, can you tell me, why are we born into this world? If it's just to die. I don't think this and never have. Nor do you. But the nihility envelops you and I. And everyone. And because of that, it's pointless. But it is still there. If the dice of fate are always weighted, then that is our destiny. Why, then, do we struggle against it? My answer might not be able to resolve your confusion, because it has been with you throughout your journey and is already a part of your life. But you said, sleep is the rehearsal of death. So why does life sleep? because we are not ready to welcome death. So you can definitely understand why we want to be prepared. Even if the ending has been predetermined, that's fine. There are countless things that humans cannot change. But before the end, there are many things that humans can do while on their journey. And because of this, the end will thus reveal a completely different meaning. That's like what Freeba said to her. Take a good look at your pocket. Your friend has already given you the answer. Good luck. The impossible in the dreamscape is not death, but rather dormancy. Do stay... Oh! No way! <laughs> I was clowning his interaction with Ratio throughout this quest and for Ratio to leave him this message? Wow, that's a... Uh... Do stay alive, he said. I wish you the best of luck. Wow, I didn't see that coming. Wow. <laughs> Avenger was like set on... on dying in Penaconi so that he could reach the other side. Is that's part of his plan to achieve the goal that was given to him on this mission. Oh, and for Ratio to say that to him. Thinking about the way the way he talked to him throughout, but then he left this message. It... <laughs> oh, okay, okay, Ratio, I see you, I see you. You, you, yeah. Dang. This. <sighs> and like, what, what, what is it? What Akron said just now about like, sure, it's like, it's pointless. But there's still many things that you can do throughout your journey before you reach that end. She's quoting Freebass from the Relic set. If you guys have read the lore, 
she was asking her like are you sure you're gonna go to nihility and then like nobody ever like you're not gonna survive it and then Freeba's just like yeah well my fate may already been predestined for me but despite that I was still gonna do what I want to do because there are things that I still want to do before I reach the end of my journey and that's how she then just decided to dive into nihility because she wanted to because her goal is to walk on a path that is further from a Kivili. <sighs> yeah, I guess Akron resonated with that opinion because in her trailer, no, in her Myriad Celestia trailer, at the end she did say like something about this world what is it? Something about this world is meaningless or something? And then she said, and yet. That doesn't sound like somebody who's fully embraced nihilism to me. That actually sounds like someone who's trying to fight against nihilism and like break free out of it. I guess that's how I see it. And ending up caring about aventuring was not in my bingo card going into this quest, but I surely do care about him, question mark, a little bit after this, so, so yeah. Yes, exactly, the world beyond saving, but still, you know, still, she would like to do something. <sighs> then I shall get going. Mister, you're leaving? You ultimately chose to leave this dreamscape? Yes. Because they are not here. My papa, mama, and big sis. Then where are they? They are in a place where everyone will go. A very, very distant place. Then are you going to? I'll get there one day. But not now. There will come a day when the sky will drizzle, and I will hear the call of Gaiathra Triclops, and know that it is time for me to go, and be reunited with my family. So, until that time comes, I should be preparing. Preparing? For what? Well, preparing to face them, Kakavisha, and to make them proud. Oh no. I know you'll be able to do it. Good luck. <laughs> well, of course. For I am a child who received the blessing of Gyathra Triclops. <laughs> but you still seem nervous. <laughs> Well, I seem that way because I am nervous. You know what? Maybe you can help. What do you say? One last time? Put our palms together? Are you going now? Yes. Tiny Ann. May the Mother Goddess thrice close her eyes for you. Keeping your, your blood, blood eternally, eternally pulsing. pulsing. May, May your journey, journey be forever, forever peaceful. peaceful. 
and your schemes forever concealed. Our paths will cross again beneath Kakava's shimmering auroras. Farewell, Kakava Chef. Wow. The way that he is now finding new purpose to live after his encounter with the emanator of nihilism <laughs> is poetry. Venturine stone has disappeared. This only represents one outcome. He kept his promise and got what he wanted. <laughs> As planned, your cornerstone has been successfully sent to the family's territory. Wait. Then. Let's fulfill our duty and start harvesting. I come for an audience. I come to fill wine, <gasps> and I come to claim. I bestow poison in the guise of sweet dew. Come the toil of spring and yield a fall. I patiently wait for the branches to be heavy with withered fruits. All for the Amber Lord. Hold on. Did I misinterpret it? Did... What? He died? Confused. <laughs> Whose POV is this? What have you done? I didn't do anything but wait for you to wake up. You've met me before. I'm Sam, a Stellaron hunter. I originally planned on showing up earlier to reveal some truths to you. But I encountered more roadblocks than expected. Eleven times I've tried but ended in failure. Before I knew it, this world and I became too intertwined, and it became too difficult to escape the constraints of the script. Elio is right. In this land of the dreams, you and I will reap unforgettable gains. New path. I don't know people's hearts as well as he and Kafka do. Nor do I have a specialty like Silverwolf and Blade. Most of the things that I'm good at only apply to villains who need no mercy. So, there is only one method that I use. This is to show you. Uh huh. All that I am. Hello.
So did Aventurin die? Labyrinth-like corridors and halls, traps everywhere. The owner of this mansion must be a bit paranoid. <laughs> you are so funny, Mr. Security Officer. I hope that sense of humor of yours has helped you find the serial killer. Just expressing a personal opinion. Why? Did I hit a nerve? Mr. Gallagher, my patience is wearing thin. Neglecting duties will only make me more suspicious that you and the real serial killer are connected. <sighs> Scoundrel, punk, drunk, hooligan. I have heard this trash talk all too often. But I have never once thought that I'd be treated as an accomplice to a murderer. I, I take back what I said. Your problem isn't paranoia. You're just crazy, you know? Lunatic! It is unhinged, though. It's not wrong. You, the family, you broke my spine and pulled out my fangs, and now you want to accuse me of murder? Ridiculous. Only idiots who've drunk too much soul glad will berate a stray dog in the streets. What exactly is making you say all this nonsense? You should be more concerned about the outworld visitors who are making a scene in the theme park than me. I don't need you to remind me. Once that ambassador walks through the doors of the mansion, I will know what he wants. My servants see everything. His little magic tricks may have fooled me, but no matter. I'm happy to see how it's turned out. Why do you think that I just let him go? And why do you think I emptied the theme park stage? Because my target from the beginning has always been you, Hound. The more noise he makes, the more opportunities I have to make you and your true master pay in blood. If I were really the murderer, why would you need to be so secretive? Ha! I forgot. You also have a difficult master to serve. Telling you to ignore the murder case and focus solely on that Charmony festival. Isn't that right, my brother? <sighs> Looks like your disguise has helped you successfully understand every facet of the family. Disguise? You must be blind to be accusing me of being a fake. Open your eyes, take a good look. <sighs> Indeed, every part of you is real. The brown hair, soft and curly like Benny's. The orange eyes, which make me miss the gaze of Sir Whitaker. That odd scar, the mark of Wolsey. And the gray vest, tie, hound emblem, bottle, the bartending, and your role as a security officer. These are all true traits from all 52 loyal family members. When they are gathered, countless tiny truths are woven together into a lie. You collected a small piece of each of them and claimed them for yourself. Mm. Then you invented this facade, a complete Gallagher. Tell me I'm wrong. <laughs> you have guts, I'll give you that. Not bad. I severely underestimated you. Admirable. But so what? He's Can this so prove tall. That I murdered your sister in that stowaway? This proves that you and the memory zone meme death are linked. And that's enough. Listen up. I don't care how you did it. I only care about one thing. The answer to a question. You devil. You wretched, despicable dog. Why did you kill her?
<laughs> you know, in the thick Yo. of things, people are blind to the grit in their eyes. Yet they can always feel it scratch. <laughs> Want the answer? I'll give it to you. <laughs> the whole thing is just fate playing a cruel joke on us. He was ter 13, what does it mean? Not this music while coming back to the express. Welcome to the Interastral Peace Broadcast. Good evening, everyone. Good evening. Huh. Welcome to a new episode of Interastral Peace Broadcast. We are here to bring you the latest news from across the galaxy. What does it mean that he's 13? The IPC and the Sienjo Alliance have renewed their trade agreements, bringing great economic benefits to both parties. The head of the armed archaeologists of the Intelligentsia Guild, Alan Jones, personally oversaw the excavation of the ancient tomb of Emperor Rupert I. The ruins rank as a Category Omega site on the Potential Disaster Index. Was that Pom Pom making the noise while they're walking? Renowned songstress Robin has received an invitation to perform at Penacone's Charmony Festival. See, I knew there's something off with the Gallagher. The recollection has gathered memoria fragments from the lost world of Moonshield. The precious memories of this. Yeah, I know he said that he's he was 13 years. Why is it on again? What? Can I not turn it off? Can you be quiet? Shush. See, I, I I felt that he was suspicious because he he said that he's like I don't know one of the higher ups in the Bloodhound family, but he kept mentioning his name and nobody was like in, immediately recognized his name. They're like, who? You know? But I don't understand. What do you mean that he's thirteen and that means something? What does it mean? Did I miss something? What does it mean? Oh, I don't have him leveled up. I cannot see his story. Mm. Where's that light cone just now? Oh yeah, Icron story. <laughs> Sub annihilator. No, no, you can see it here. Oh, it's all red. She redacted herself. Yeah, the Kami. It was only when the blades light that I came to realization this impasse with no escape. Those who venture upon it have no res recourse to turn back. The forge blaze from the remains of Kami. Guilt interested in the enigmatic Yozuru no Kami mentioned in this course, but the path they are associated with remains shrouded in mystery. By the accounts, the people of Izumo cease to refer to the wielders of the blades as heroes, but rather as revenants. When the armed archaeologists arrived, galaxy resounded solely with the melody of Enigmata. Dark Sun's tears. Her homeland, once saved by her hands erased. Invisible shadow ahead. Her vision in case. Mm. Oh, welcome back, TK. <laughs> Hmm. 
While some patients found solace and rediscovered hope, she proved an exception. No one has ever awakened from their dream state, yet she defied the odds. We must admit that she has ventured far beyond our progress on this path. The elusive nihility by cancer towards self annihilation yet she subtly holds its reins. Mm. Perhaps she was prepared to confront the true enemy from the very beginning of her journey. Once I asked her about the purpose behind it all, but she remained silent. Was she at loss for words or did she already have an answer in mind? From Doctor, doctor of Chaos? Is there? Oh yeah, free bus. Counter in Archon. When I first met her, it appeared that she was on a certain quest, possibly seeking revenge. Soon I realized that it wasn't the case, as a person and consumed by hatred would inevitably expose it, yet she remained remarkably composed, with only fleeting glimpses of sorrow. Exactly. That's what I'm that's what I'm getting from her. Like she's like you know, we know now we know that Avenger was just saying that she's involved in the murder because you know he wanted us to fight against each other but like she never she never seemed to me like somebody who is you know who carries lots of malice she's just like sad <laughs> she has a lot of grief which is you know very telling of a Raiden variant Fleeting glimpse of sorrow. Traverse numerous world before our path cross. Together we cook and establish camp amidst the wilderness. More often than not, we journey in silence. The snow here bears a purplish red hue, carrying the tangy flavor of raspberries. While she has almost lost her sense of taste, she appreciates. Oh. I can't. She. Oh, she also has. She also. She also losing her sense. Her senses. She appreciated the Orkron's or no donut I prepared. Before meeting her, I spent countless years wading through the river of nihility, extended her hand to me. Together we ventured along this... What? Wading through the river of nihility? Wading through the river of nihility? What do you mean? She extended her hand to me. Together we ventured along this river. Now the time has come for us to part ways and I have yet to reach the shore, uncertain of what lies ahead. Even so, I see no reason to halt my journey. Life is merely a road that eventually culminates. And until that moment arrives, I shall keep pressing forward. I am certain she would do the same. Hmm. Oh, that's interesting. So all this redacted now is unlocked. Does that mean? Does that mean the redacted from from Black Swan's story will also be revealed? And same goes to some of Himeko's story. Wait, there's some. Where's the new there? Interesting. Eventually. Oh, I thought they're just gonna leave it like. Redact it forever. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. Self identity. Dreams and essence are meaningless. Their purpose is painted by the backdrop of life. Yet, if that backdrop is emptiness, then dreams are reduced to colorless, hollow shells. When I awoke from that place, the sea's horizon still held faint thunder, and the falling blood rain was easing. The sight of that moment lay strikingly clear before me. All other memories, both prior and subsequent, paled and slowly ebbed away. Did they update it after the story? Because I remember checking out all these voiceovers before, except for the identity which was locked. Humans traverse the path of fate, seeking knowledge, craving revelation, striving to exist. Oh, 
Yeah, I don't remember though about Genshin gemstones. I don't remember any of the stones being redacted aside from the pyro gemstone. But, hmm. I always just assume that they're just gonna leave this stuff redacted. <laughs> Hardly in the history of the go will there be a history of not real. What does that mean? Does Kafka have redacted version? Uh, why, is, why is it marked as new? What's happening here? I've read all of this. Kafka. No, no redacted stuff. Wait, okay, so question. Did Aventurin die? Because what I was getting from his... Uh, from his... Farewell with no. his child self was that... He wants to continue on living, right? Because his parents and his sister were not in the dreamland. Mm -hmm. So he wanted to continue on living, but... But... Noise. But why did Topaz said that the adventuring stone no longer emitting light, i.e. he dead? What happened there? Or does it mean, or, or is it like, he ventured deep into the dream to get to the other side because he wanted to uncover the truth and then he would come back? Hmm. Yeah, true. She did say something like, yeah, you can go now into the abyss, but coming back, that's, um, hmm? that's another story. Like, no, you gotta figure out your way out because she helped him get in, but it's not... <laughs> Not guaranteeing his way out. That is so confusing. Maybe he is, maybe he is experiencing something similar to what Robin is experiencing, in a way. The way that they're implying that he's dead, I mean, like, you know, like, he's actually still alive, but his brain, his consciousness that is in the dream is now quote-unquote dead because he traversed into nihility or whatever, to the other side. Hmm? Noise. Hmm. Yeah. Hmm? I still I still don't understand about Gallagher's comment about him being 13. What does it mean? What does it mean that he's 13? Huh? I want to check out Gallagher's character story real quick in the wiki. Gallagher, Star Rail. Is there anything in his story? Watch it being all redacted. Noise. During working hours, he presents himself as a seasoned and composed security officer. Reminiscent about the golden years when he yearned for freedom despite his captivity. Hmm. Huh? About the golden years when he yearned for freedom despite his captivity. Together, they fought, ag fought against oppression 
entrusting their life to one another. Dream of a free land might die any moment, yet acted as if they already had countless wonderful tomorrows within their grasp. However, there were not enough of them to fight back. Familiar friends perished one by one, idols crumbled, and atrocities prevailed. Is that something you lived through? You must be kidding, right? The guest interrupt his gloomy soliloquy. What is that? I don't know how to pronounce that. Of course not. How can it possibly be true? He smiles and resumes his work. Gallagher is my most genuine lie. Sometimes I can't even distinguish between him and myself. Oh. Uh. Hmm. Oh, that's all right, Kunai. That's all right. Maybe I will. I will. I will um, rewatch the quest because there, there's gonna be something else in what he said about his connection with the watchmaker earlier. Something about the enigma. There's somewhere here. Um, enigma has a large number of followers. Leaders being the prominent group. With a history fictionologist devoted to mystification of history, the readers are obsessed with destroying a certainty of language. Deconstruct text, abuse metaphors, change word orders, tamper with semantics, transform an otherwise precise language into something beyond recognition. Why is it so hard to find a pure and precise language in the cosmos these days? There's another riddle left, but... Historic fictionologist, Enigmata. They often plunge to the sea of stars alone, traveling planet to planet with the sole purpose of fabricating, obscuring, destroying, and erasing the local history. Is this him? History fictionologists believe that the past determines the future. When civilization history is def definite, its future development is doomed as all possibilities are eliminated, leaving only a set and rigid path forward. In order to save these worlds from the sad fate of objectivity, they consider Ekmata as their only creed and are determined to shroud the universe in mystery. Destroying history alone and decisively. Views are poorly understood by most. Blunt and hatred of objective fact is somewhat extreme. Uh, history fictionologists, they're making up history. That's what they do. They have reputation comparable to that of the Antimatter Legion. The guild has publicly denounced them. The Antimatter Legion destroys matter, but history fictionologists destroy the very universe itself. In view of the fact that this entry has been edited with unknown attribution, it is hereby declared that this entry is, oh, is not applicable. There's no reference. They, they edit this stuff themselves too. Not reliable. Okay, got it. Hmm. Interesting. Wow, I didn't expect myself to care much about adventuring. But after this quest, I actually care about him, surprisingly. Wow, that's a very good storytelling. I think, I think Penacony 2.1 quest was really good. What do you guys think? Oh, TK, you got spoiled for the most yes. part of the quest, but I'm glad that you're still excited to do it. This is really good. There, wow, it's very solid. If you, I don't want to compare, but we gotta come. But just come naturally, right? We gotta compare it to. Comparing it to Shanzo Lofu, which was a complete mess. I mean, like, we're leaving this quest 
with some answers but also more questions but it's not like in an annoying way and like you're confused about what's happening well Shenzo was like so why did Blade say about out of five, out of four three must pay the price why he did that what happened to Dan Hung why Jing Liu is there why suddenly Fantilia is the enemy you know but this one is like it's clear from the beginning what was gonna happen not what was gonna happen but like it's clear like it's still the same plot <laughs> instead of like you know Blade is that you start with Blade about to make three people pay the price ended up with Fantilia, I don't know where. Hmm? No, that's yeah. This, this one is actually good. If Sauji is also the one that's gonna be in charge of the continuation of Lofu quest, then I'll be very excited hmm? of what's to come. Noise. <laughs> You're talking about Lofu. It also gets lighted me into thinking that I was too stupid to follow the story. It was like, like, what is it? The moment when Dan Hung transformed into Dan Feng, or like transformed into his actual Vidya Hara something self, you know? It was like, so why why was he punished? Why was he forced into a reincarnation? What did he do? It was not explained. But even if we try to understand that, it doesn't matter. <laughs> because eventually the fight was against Fantilia out of nowhere. Noise. Ah. This is wow, it's actually good. I'm glad I gave Star Rail a second try. Go to the stage where the battle was. What happened there? Let's go. Where was the stage? Where was it? Is it the stage? No, that's not it. Um, I cannot go there. Wait, where's the stage? Do I go here? I go here. <laughs> you don't know any low food. M me neither. Proceed to save up for Jing Liu on her rerun. It was such a letdown, isn't it? I was so hyped when... Was it 2.2? When Jing Liu showed up with Lo Cha at the end? And I was like, huh? The next villain! But then no, she just wanted to have a last wine drinking session with her friends. And that's it. The big circle. Okay. For some reason, the thing is not open. This thing. I have to go there first. We're not no! Why are you stopping me here? No. No. Wow. Okay, no, no, no. I'm curious to do all the side quests if there is anything more that we can see there. <gasps> what? Whoa! Yo. Whoa. What? What? Hello? Sheesh. Wait, it stays. It, it's... It destroyed part of the dream. Oh, they're fixing it, those guys. These people are fixing it. They're like, ah, here we go again. <laughs> Look at them. They're trying to fix it. 
<laughs> You're like, who, who were just people destroying the dream that we so beautifully crafted together? Now we have to work on it again. They better pay us over time for this. One of the scratches she gave to my son. <laughs> it's probably is. Can't even go there. Yo. Look at look at the thing in the sky. So it's gonna this these people are just gonna be extending their hands like this until the next patch. <laughs> That's funny. Aventurin... Nah, I don't think Aventurin is dead. Genius tree. Now, I'm curious about this guy in Golden Hour. Where was he? I'm trying to remember where he was. Uh, there's this guy. Somewhere near the area with the store and stuff. They're gonna stay there until the next patch. It's like... Uh... How many days? 42 days? 40 days until then? Dreamweavers. Their job is not easy. This Where's that guy? haven of memories. Every touch. Every moment is like a thorned rose. Where is that place with the... Um... Give him a kid's meal. All that education and I'm lost. Honored. I bring Icron and I'm lost. It's this way. I saw this guy somewhere here and under his name it says Watchmaker. I don't know what that means. But I cannot find him now. Whoa, nice! Hmm. An sports car. Have you guys done the quest with this guy? I think he's talking, he's like he looks like he's talking to this girl, but that girl is not real. Where is that watchmaker guy? That I I saw him. <laughs> Ned is, I'm sorry, Ned. You're 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 our sustain. It had to be done. Otherwise, we're gonna be stuck in there 24 hours, like one main <laughs> quest. Surprise me. Near Clocky. Oh, you're right. You're right. It's here. What is that watchmaker? Where's that guy? This guy. Dream skeptic. Father of Anakuni, everyone in the city has heard his name. Every single detail of the city is intertwined with him. Seems no one has ever seen him before. What kind of person is this watchmaker? I hear that he created Panakoni. That's the impression that most people have. There are very few records of, on the Watchmaker, but his achievements are known by all. You could say that Panakoni's prosperity is mostly thanks to him. I find this kind of confusing. Why are the works of such great craftsmen nowhere to be seen in Panakoni? Perhaps it's just a title? To know the story behind this, really wish we could, I could meet this great fellow craftsman of mine in person. Fellow? Oh, uh, you're just normal watchmaker ah oh. hello something of the thing all desire in this life is to master the most exquisite craftsmanship to discuss the art of making timepiece with this land's most famous craftsman it's not here anymore just a shame that this watchmaker is not willing to show his face Let's have a talk. Let's talk about the watchmaker. 
Ja. Ah. The watchmaker's most important work might be right beside us. The 12 hours of Fenacone. Dreamscape 12 hours form clock face. Perhaps Fenacone itself is the watchmaker's most meticulous and magnificent. Ah. Wow, I'm, I'm just... Am I stupid for just noticing that? Like, that's why he was called the Watchmaker? Wait, I just... Wait, I just realized that. <laughs> I just realized that. He's called the Watchmaker because there are 12 moments in Penaconi. And it created a watch face. Hence watchmaker wow i just just realized that of course this is the shape of this it's the shape of this thing from the beginning wow i feel so dumb for not realizing that sooner oh Yes, yeah, and it's a clock, exactly. I was wondering, like, why is he called the watchmaker? <sighs> now I know. Now I know. Yeah, Pranakoni really saved Honkai Staro. I guess for me personally, because I find it pointless just collecting characters if their story are not interesting. But Penagoni is very interesting. It has been interesting so far. Whoa, it changed. Something changed with him. Clocky said something very ominous when he first introduced this clock statue system that the more we give him offering, the sooner he could be seen by everyone. Sus. Whatever that means. Yeah, he, he's golden now. What's gonna happen next? It's different. It's cleaner. It's gold. Hmm. Yeah. I just wanna go to the relic set real quick. Because I find it really... What is it? It's moving. <laughs> when when Akron said that. Where is it? Hmm. Is here. Yeah, this one, this part, this part are set by Free Pass, right? She she was like asked by Akron, like, you really want to go to the death of Nihility and all that stuff? And then she's like, of course. Despite our end having been already determined. However, just like you said, even though I may turn into a shallow puddle of dead water in the end. There's still a lot I can do on my journey toward that moment. So no matter what, I have to try. Because I will walk on the road deeper and further than Achilles. So that's really cool. Cause because like, yeah, sure, Akron has always, you know, had the belief that there's still the world still is worth saving. But maybe just hearing that from another person kind of like strengthen her belief. Like for her then to walk on the path of nihility is a 
the irony of it all. They wrote her so good. It's... It's crazy. <sighs> All the Raidens having very sad... and deep... stories. She's truly... Poivre's favorite character. <laughs> That's all I can say. Well, all right then. This has been fun. I'm looking forward to 2.2. Maybe I'll I'll cook some videos while waiting. Get some theories. I don't know. But yeah, this has been fun. Thank you so much, everyone, for joining me. I didn't think we we're gonna finish the day, but we did. Oh my god, I stream for six hours. Mm, yeah. I think we'll end the stream here and because there's no companion quest for Akron, stream this Sunday has been cancelled, which is very sad. I thought we we're gonna get companion quest for Akron, but no. Other than that... <laughs> I Yeah, I said two hours, but I was curious, you know, and then suddenly it's four hours and now it's six. And we're all still here. <laughs> Well, yeah, uh, thank you so much, everyone, for joining me. Thank you for interacting, living chat and all. Appreciate you all. I come back next time with another stream. If, you know, the next Panacone Quest, I guess. So I will see you then and look out for more videos from me in the future. In the coming weeks, I guess. Yeah, thank you TK, thank you Erina, Meira, Kuna. Who else is still here? And the others who are not leaving chats but still watching. Thank you so much for joining me. I had fun. I hope you had fun. Have a good rest of the day. Good morning, afternoon, evening, good night. I will see you all in the next one. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.